Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. Welcome on in to more randomizer shenanigans. I'm ready, dude. I'm well rested. It's been a good day so far. I had to get up like super early for my, my therapy appointment today. It was literally at 8 a.m., so I had to be up like early to actually like get there. But it's, uh, I'm well rested. I'm in a good mental headspace, and I'm ready for the grind set. Ready for that Mines grind set? Hope you're all doing well as well. Good to see all y'all familiar faces. Therapy was good. First session. I mean, you never know because you don't know, like, it's literally the first time you're meeting the person. Uh, and, but uh, the ther therapists, they were very, very nice. They were... We, we clicked quite well and uh, able to get a good foothold on things. But, you know, keep that keep that stuff private, but just know that I'm on, I'm on the right path here. All right. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to bury the lead too much here. We got, uh, we got some stuff to get into. By the way, I do have a poll ongoing right now. I posted it earlier today on my community tab. Um... I don't have a link for it right now, which is kind of my bad, but if you go to my channel and go to the community tab, it should be there. As to whether or not I should try to do some of the, uh, try to do some of the grinding for this challenge off stream, potentially. Because not all the grinds are, uh, some of the grinds I think are important to do on stream. Some of them less so, and I think, you know, it would be good to maybe partition some of that. Like, someone in the comments of, of that, uh, that community post made a good point that, Maybe I should just, you know, relegate geode farming to uh, to an off-stream activity. That way I can, like, come back to the stream and be like, Hey, I geode farmed for, like, eight days, and we have, like, a bunch of money to spend, and then we can actually just get on with stuff. Because geode farming is not top-tier content. It is, it's, a, it's a grind that I'm willing to do. It's not a grind that I, uh, <laughs> that I expect everyone to want to sit through. I think grinding, like, the mines floors out, that's okay, honestly, because, like, there's that satisfying payoff at the end when you're doing geodes, and you're just like, all right, just another hard day of work, clap the hands together, dust them off, we get 80 geodes. <laughs> it's, it's less satisfying. I mean, it's satisfying in the end when you actually have all the money, but it's, uh, it's a different kind of satisfying, I suppose. No to off-stream, yes to predictor. I will tell you right now, I've, uh, I had, I had a good long look in the mirror yesterday after the stream, considering the pros and cons of, of using the predictor. I don't think I'm using the predictor, like, at all. Period. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's gonna come to that. I mean, maybe, I don't know what the necessarily this challenge has in store for us in the future, but, uh, at least for the mines right now, we're not, we're not going predictor. We're, go we're, we're going with good luck days only in the mines. To make that progress a little bit more tenable, hopefully. Um, predictor. I just looked at myself in the mirror, like I said, and I was like, "Are you really gonna? Are you really gonna get, use the predictor now? You, the same guy who <laughs> who went through 500 levels, 500 treasure rooms of Skull Cavern to find like an assortment of seeds you can normally buy in like the first like 20 minutes of the game." You, who slept for a hundred in-game years to get a single small white egg. You, the guy who searched 5,000 trash cans over the course of a hundred real-life hours to get a single cactus fruit. Are you really going to succumb and use a predictor now? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're I think we're in for the grind. I think I think we're all in this together. And I'm just hopefully going to make the uh, the journey enjoyable for all of us. Hello, Wickety. Hello, Lisa. Hello, all my friends who are dropping in. What's up with the cactus fruit? Clearly, I missed something. I know it's uh, it's it's from the Price of Perfection, like the original challenge. I had to get a cactus fruit for reasons, but I couldn't go to the desert because I couldn't spend money on the bus. So I had the only way I could get it was from trash cans, and I had to search like five thousand. That's really that's really the the cliff notes of it. Very end of VOD fifty two for Price of Perfection, I think. Yeah. Either way, we got. Uh, we're not worried about the price of perfection right now. We're worried about the uh, the randomizer challenge here. 
But before we get into that, we actually do have some fan art to go over, believe it or not. I know it's only been a day since I streamed, but we actually have a, a reasonable amount of new fan art here shared in the Discord. Starting with, wait, hold on a second. This lovely piece from, oh, why? Oh, it's so small on my screen. Smile from Smile over in the Discord. Here, let me actually, I'm going to do this. There we go. That's better for me. It probably didn't change anything for you. Very cute little version of Beatrix here. Dreaming of her of her new best friend in the future, the dwarf. Get some homies in chat. <laughs> you got Pi right there. She's she's having a great time in the mines. Like, look at her. She is she is so cute. This is a very cute rendition of her. I love it. I love I love the Beatrix fan art. I love the Chloe fan art too. I love all the fan art. It's all it's all uh it's all beautiful, and I feel blessed to be able to see like any of it and all these talents on display. Very, very nice. Thank you, Smile. Next up. This one from an anonymous artist. It's a. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. It's pretty true to life. This is how I felt when I was making the list of uh, the little the little slideshow list at the start of the previous stream of all the different steps for befriending the dwarf, namely for getting dwarf scroll three. I was like, so, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. This this is a winner right here. We're going. We're gonna do this. <laughs> That was me right there in the middle. That's me and Beatrix, kindred spirits on that one. Feels so good. Oh my gosh. And this is just, this is just the first step in a very long process. I have so got this. I love it. And the final piece of fan art we got for today, coming from Meggie on YouTube. I don't know if you're here, Meggie. But uh, this is a little iteration of Chloe. You know... We got Beatrix, the the new uh, new blood, new part, new member of the uh, of the cinematic universe here. But we can't forget the OG Chloe. She's always uh, always our number one. In her cute little Iron Man drip, you love to see it. Very very nicely done. Very I love like the like watercolor style. Super super cool. Thank you Meggie for that, and thank you to all the fan artists who have contributed over the past however long been amazing seeing all these different talents on display. If you'd like to share your own fan art, exclamation point Discord, there is a link to the Discord there by a Nightbot, and there's a fan art channel in said Discord where you can share any fan art you might have. Let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited. All that good, fun stuff. I'd love to see it. They're all so cute, right? They're so good. <laughs> Predictor still saved hundreds of real-world hours. I guess with the sleeping part of the price of perfection, you're not wrong about that. But uh, <laughs> that's for we saved the predictor for ultra extreme cases like that. I think. I think that's where I fall on on predictor usage for myself personally. And I'm the outlier. I'm the weird one in this in this circumstance. Make no bones about it. You should use the predictor if you find yourself in my shoes. All right. Let's go ahead and hop back on in to Fractured Farm. Real quick, I am going to Ooh, I'm going to close these blinds here cuz the sun is in like the perfect spot. It's blinding me. I can't like see half the screen unless I do this. So, there we go. Dawn time. Thank you so much for being a member for 12 months at the Positron level. So generous that a whole year has finally come. Can't believe it's been a whole year. I'm not always able to join live, but you're by far my favorite creator. Thank you so much. I don't know what it is, but you make my day everything you stream. Cheers. I greatly appreciate that. It's very kind and wholesome. Get some Argon love for dawn time here. Super, super appreciate you. Thank you so much. Grinding money off cam is fine, but I still want to see the progress. I think that's where I'm at right now. For the time being, um, let me let me bring you over to the farm here. For the time being, we're going to put a moratorium, I think, on on geode farming on stream. I, I, I just don't think it's that... Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's in the best interest of myself or of all of you. That said, we did geode farm up to $14,000 yesterday, which means we can probably go get our house upgraded today, I would say. Jalopy, another 12-month member. 12-month hype. Get some Argon love for you as well. Thank you so much for the generosity. I greatly appreciate it. Very, very much so. Yeah, we want that house upgrade because we got our fridge, which is our, our de facto chest for now. 
We can also get uh, access to mini fridges, which are even more chests. Um, we got our straw hat as well, which matches the drip so cleanly. It's almost like I planned it that way. I didn't, I promise. Oh, and we got our uh, emotional support bunny. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to take you to the mines, I think. No, not you. Sorry. Sorry, table eel. We're taking... Can I not... Hold on a second. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the luck is like today. Also grab Queen of Sauce real quick. I gotta turn down the music a little bit, I think. One second here. It's a little loud on my end. Maybe it's just that one song, I don't know. House upgrades for new crates. That's also true. We'll get new stuff out of the supply crates. That would be uh, pretty nice. Alright, so we know how to make coleslaw. Fortune teller. Bad luck day. So we're not making any progress in the mines this day. We're waiting until a good luck day to do that. But uh, good to know. I haven't had a good luck day in a little while. I feel like it's been, a, it's been a hot minute since we've actually made any real mines progress. It's all been geode farming as of late. Why not sell the second eel? Um, because we could have to use it. We might not get another eel to cook... Um, like spicy eel or fried eel. There's a couple of recipes that require eels. And if I don't get like catch an eel before then, then we're a little bit pooped on that one. We have to rely on garbage cans. So hold on to it for the time being. We'll put it in the fridge when the time comes to pass. Come on, Cranky. Take it to the fridge. I'm getting a little framey here. I don't know if that's just me. I know, I think my, my PC did want to, like, update, but I was like, ah, we'll just save that for later, but maybe it, maybe I should have done it beforehand, I don't know. Where'd the aquarium come from? We, uh, purchased that one in the, in the first stream. When I, when I got the first eel, when I got Craig, hey, we're not geode farming, but I'll, I'll take a geode when I see one. <laughs> yeah, when Craig first arrived, we bought a fish tank specifically for him. How many fish tanks will you have? As many as it takes. As many as it takes, they all deserve a good home. Uh, Joja Cola. Honestly, probably get take it over the fiber here. Not a sentence you'll hear all that often in this game. Yeah, I'll take the Joja Cola over the fiber. Neither are like particularly valuable, but fiber is like infinitely more valuable than Joja Cola for just like recipes and stuff. Enjoy your lurkdom, ghost. Do mystic stones give XP? I'm like 98% certain that they do, yeah. The ones that like drop prismatic shards and stuff, I'm pretty positive that they do. But I don't think I've ever actually tested it personally, so who knows. Alright. Emotional support bunny activated. Now, um... We're not geode farming, but I will tell you, for the Grand Master Plan, we do have to complete um, one of these bundles in the crafts room. And really the only one that we can reliably complete, well, exotic foraging can be completed with the help of, basically what we would do for this one is mushroom cave these three. Cave carrots are very easy to get from crates and barrels in the mines. Um... And then one of these could be gotten from putting a piece of hardwood through a wood chipper, which we don't get access to until winter. So that's unfortunate. Uh, the, the other one we could go for here is the construction bundle, which is to get 10 hardwood. And 10 hardwood would be doable. It's not ideal, but we have basically everything else. Like, we've got the wood, we've got the stone. Easy. And then, uh, you know, I do need to turn up the music again now. Some of the songs on I need to I need to like normalize the volume a little bit more on these on these plays on these songs here. 50 XP from a Mystic Stone, that sounds about right. Let me put my volume like right right there. That's good. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet or whatever, but But yeah, I think honestly the construction bundle is the most realistic option right now for, for a bundle to complete. So I think we should try to do that. Um, which means going through the mines and, and farming for hardwood. <laughs> Switching out our geode farming for hardwood farming. But hardwood farming is a, is a different beast because it's uh, every, every hardwood is its own special little loot box basically. 
Before we worry about any of that, though, I do think this is in order. Let's go ahead. We need 450 wood, right? Well, let me double check that just so I don't buy like too much wood. 450 wood, 10,000 pieces of money. All right, so we're going to go ahead and buy... I mean, with seven here to start with, just so we get to an even multiple. Then we get 100, 250. Perfect. 450 wood. Upgrade my house, please. There we go. Easy as that. That's like all my money, but <laughs> it's a worthy investment. That is a big purchase for us. Best way you found to get hardwood in the mines is just to, just to farm barrels at floor 41. I've found that uh, floor 21 works pretty well as well. I've never tried floor 41, to be honest with you. But uh, it is a small enough floor. I could definitely see that being a viable option. But I think that's the next step of the master plan, honestly, is to, is to farm hardwood. But I kinda, I'm kind of itching to make some mines progress. Worth it for that chest, 100%. I'm kind of itching to make some mines progress, as well as to just have the the chest, quote-unquote, our fridge, to put some of these tools and stuff away. So I'm not going to start the hardwood grind just yet. We're going to go ahead and uh, and wait a little bit to see if I can clear up my inventory in a couple days here. So for now, I think we honestly just go to bed. There's really nothing else to do. I would geode farm, but we're, we're, we're can't, geode farm is canceled right now for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Ice chest, so true. That's like another ter actual term for a for a uh, like a cooler, right? Don't put Craig in that expensive chest. Think I'm not gonna accidentally turn Craig into sashimi? No, Craig's gonna get a his uh, permanent home once we get the night night fishing bundle. You know it to be true. Monday is debris day. Everyone get excited for debris day. Drop your. Uh, do we have a Chloe like garbage emote? <laughs> I don't know. Drop your favorite debris-based emote. All right, fortune teller. Bad luck day. You hate to see it. There's Robin, though. Love to see it. Hi, me sell hats. Okay, poke. What hat will the hat mouse sell? I think it's a... Uh, I think it's the Sal Wester, I want to say. Yo, thank you, Dad. Look, he's, he's sending me all kinds of money and good stuff today. I know just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. Who is this? Who is this woman? I've never met this woman. Like, Granny Evelyn? I've literally never met you, and you come into my mail. You slide into my DMs, calling yourself Granny Evelyn? What is this? No, I don't want to subscribe to your newsletter. Thank you. Thank you, Granny. Look at, look at those debris. Look at that debris. I'm going to, before I handle the debris, I am going to go do the garbage run, just so I don't forget about it. Favorite debris emote? Really, any emote could be, like, a debris emote. Well, most, like, inanimate object emotes can be, like, debris, because, like, it's all, it's all debris, right? At the end of the day, it's all detritus. Great word, by the way, detritus. Pine cone, is that? No, that's not the most valuable seed. I think the acorn is the most valuable of the seeds. 20 gold, I'm pretty sure. Still, pine cone. Nothing to scoff at. Yo, it's salmon berry season. Hold up. Hold up. I forgot it was salmon berry season today. That's big. Hold on a second. We can we can we can harvest salmon berries. I didn't even I didn't even register that. That's actually huge. That's that's like our that's going to be a reliable food source for the for the presumed for the foreseeable future. Salmon berry hype. I always forget about salmon berry seeds, and then I walk past the bush, and I'm like, wait a second. Those little red flecks weren't there before. Salmon berries. Yeah, salmon berries don't give any foraging experience, thankfully, so we can we can collect them to our heart's content. I should have reset the day because if you don't know, you, when you reset uh, the the salmon berry day, it means like more salmon berries will spawn in more bushes. So it would be it would be beneficial to, and I'll probably do this on subsequent salmon berry days. We'll just reset it one time. 
in order to get more salmon berries and more bushes, but uh, for now, good start. Don't ship them? I would never. <laughs> I would never dare ship a salmon berry. We'll be on the lookout for salmon berries here. I'm going to clear my debris first, and then we'll spend the rest of the day looking for berries, probably. It's a very, very berry poor start to the, uh, start to the season, though. Where can I apply for mod? Just Jacob. I appreciate your interest. We are currently not taking mod applications. We're, uh, we're doing all right with the, with the mods we currently have, but if you subscribe, be on the lookout. I mean, you never know in the future. All right. Let's start this debris harvest. You're playing the roguelike mod and just beat Otis on your first try? Yo, that's actually, like, insane, Hannah. <laughs> Otis is, like... It's been a hot minute since I played the roguelike mod. Otis is still, like, one of the scariest bosses. If not, like, the scariest, hardest boss in the entire roguelike. It's so difficult. Being on your first try is actually, like... <laughs> that, sh that should be, like, a an in-game achievement as far as I'm concerned. Ew, clay! Get it out of here, dude. Yeah, trash that clay. Don't need that. Took me long enough to even get to her. I gotta go back and play that roguelike mod again. I don't know if there have been any updates to it. I know they were talking about updating it to make, like, uh make looping a bit more balanced because as it was it was it was a little bit uh, a little bit scuffed when you got to looping survival burgers that's huge hold on i'm gonna go sell this pine cone and then i'm gonna come back for the survival burgers to sell them too because i think that uh, i think i think survival burgers there's no real reason to hold on to those they give the foraging buff, but I don't think that's that tangibly useful. You and Charlie are the ones who gave you tips to even get that far. Happy I could help in some way. Survival burgers. They are useful as food, but we'll have lots of salmon berries too. A convenient snack for the explorer. I just don't have the, the inventory space right now, although I guess I will pretty soon. That said, every little bit of money helps. You never know when that golden clock is going to be on the horizon. Probably be ducking enemies out of habit instead of fighting them. That's one thing I'm going to get very good at throughout the course of this randomizer, I think, is, like, juking enemies, trying to just, like, avoid them as much as possible. It's not a skill you usually have to develop that much in Stardew because it's, like, so... You, you, you can usually just, like, kill the enemies and then eat whatever food you got if you get hit. You don't have that much uh, leeway for that sort of play style in this, uh, in this challenge, unfortunately. Aru's B, member for 12 months as well at the Electron level. Happy one year. Just says I'm late. <laughs> no worries. Happy to have you in here. You're not that late anyway. Appreciate the generosity. Lots of love to you. Thank you so much. Aru's B made many of the uh, the lovely emotes that, uh, that we have on the channel here for channel members. Greatly appreciate it. Argon, love for you. Would it boost your forge to gain more berries? I think I think I know what you mean. Yeah, like at certain foraging levels, you do gain more salmon berries. I don't think because the survival burger is just a plus two, right? But I think you need I think you need level four foraging for the first boost in berries. It's one that's one of those things I don't have fully internalized, but I think that's uh, that sounds correct to me. So I don't think that we have any... I don't think that eating the survival burger would boost our berry gaining potential. It did cross my mind, though. Welcome back, Atlas. Happy to have you. Favorite debris emote maker. What a title to have. Dude, debris day is, is no joke. I feel like there, there's more debris on this debris day than there was last time for sure. I don't know what, what causes it. 
Like, there are some times when the debris just goes, like, out of control. Like, we've got so much, like... Like, I used all my wood, so all... This 41 wood right now is exclusively from chopping debris. I think there were, like, a couple little saplings, and but then mostly it's been, like, uh... Just the sticks. That's wild. 41 sticks. So far. Like, we're, we're still not even done. We're not even... Might not even be close to done, as far as I can tell here. Where'd the money go? Robin is currently in the process of upgrading our home. If you listen carefully, on the sounds of the wind, you can hear her hammering away with a little plunk, plunk, plunk. When we walk near the house, anyway. We're overdue. We're overdue for that uh, for that first house upgrade, as far as I'm concerned. It's one of the like the few things we can do without... <laughs> one of the few, like, you know, tangibly powerful things we can do without breaking the rules of the challenge, so... I really need to invest in that. I think that is all the debris that I can deal with. Yeah. All right. Now we go. We go berry forage. Berry foraging. <laughs> berry foraging. Ooh, this is where all the berries were hiding. Lovely, lovely. And talking about the night fishing bundle, yeah, we'll put the... Because we have Craig the Eel, we'll put him in the night fishing bundle when we get the chance to. We have to complete one bundle in order to actually unlock that, but that's uh, that's on the table. Our first bundle to complete is going to be the construction bundle, pretty sure. Look at all this grass, holy moly. And then we'll proceed from there. We won't be able to complete the night fishing bundle, not easily anyway. If we get really lucky with our garbage cans, then like maybe, but... I'm not, I'm not counting on it, to say the least. Because right now, to complete that, the only way we can is via... Um, well, actually, some of the fish might be sold at Cro by Krobus. I'm trying to remember which fish might be sold by Krobus. What do you even need for the night fishing bundle? You need the bream, you need the eel, and you need the walleye. Something like that. This is a dry day for salmon berries. Yeah, some of those might be sold by Krobus. So if we get access to Krobus, then we could, uh... Excuse me. I need my, my magnetism. I need a magnetism upgrade. Then we might have a little bit easier time of completing the night fishing bundle, or any of the fishing bundles, really. But until that time, it's basically only garbage luck. I kind of weird how foraging doesn't gain foraging experience. I know, right? Like, if you ask me, like, what's the what's the most true-to-life style of foraging that you do in Stardew Valley? It's definitely picking the berry bushes. Like, it's very rare in my real life that I'll be walking around and I'll see a giant leek poking out of the ground and I'll go and, and pick it up and carry it home and then try to, like, sell it on, on Etsy or whatever. Not that I'm going around often and picking berries either. But I know places where I could go to, like, pick berries if I wanted to. I don't really know where I'm getting, like, a wild horseradish from in real life. Oh, I just saw that with the exclamation point goal. I should pin that one. Uh, pin message. I hope it hit the right message there. There we go, yeah. Current goal, befriend the dwarf. Love to see it. Bubbles. Oh, I was, I was going to say, I can fish at the bubbles, but... That's, that's my normie Stardew brain talking. We don't fish around here. Guess because it would be way too easy to get so much XP between Samberry and Blackberry days. I mean, you just have to scale the XP appropriately. Like, if you only got, like, one XP per Samberry bush, that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't be broken at all. It would just be, like, a nice little bonus. And it would be absolute, like, hell for this challenge, but... Uh... No, no, not absolute hell, but at least a mild inconvenience for sure. I wouldn't be able to be to do what I'm doing right now. That's that's for darn sure. You have blackberries there. The only berries I've ever picked in real life, I think, are blueberries. Back uh, when I was visiting 
when I was younger and we visited my grandparents out in uh, Ontario. The good old cap. I think the straw hat is going to be go-to fashion for the time being, especially because that would be half my money on a hat that I don't even like that much. So let's not worry about that. I think that's basically all the sand berries I'm going to get. There's probably some more up in the mountains, but I just don't really have time to go up there or the energy, to be quite, quite frank. Tomorrow, though, we're resetting the day, very first thing, to get more, to get extra salmon berries to spawn. And oh, baby, this stack is going to blow up. Miss black raspberries so much. Black raspberries. That's, that's, are black raspberries, like, real? <laughs> should I be killing these slimes? Not, well, I, I probably should, actually. Start, start grinding up slime for the adventurer's bundle when that comes to pass. They don't give combat experience, so we're good there. Yo, Yo, you'll love to see it. A two slime drop is, is a rarity, I'm pretty sure. Alright, stay away from the grass. I don't want to chop too much grass. Actually, it's probably fine. This is far enough away from most of the debris anyway that it's not like that big of a... It's not going to be that liable to contribute to our debris preventative measures. Yeah, I always thought black raspberry was just like a f like an artificial flavor. Kind of like blue raspberry. Wait, are blue raspberries real? You can't tell me that blue raspberries are real. Please. <laughs> My inventory is so freaking full. I, this fridge cannot come soon enough, I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, the survival burgers coming in clutch. Recoup a little bit of that cost from the house upgrade. Doing all right. They aren't. Aw. <laughs> I, I was so hopeful. My wistful child fantasy of seeing a blue raspberry in person. Yo, gold pyramid luck? I think I think we take our chances on gold pyramid luck. What do you guys think? Give me a, give me a thumbs up if we try to make mines progress today. With gold pyramid luck, give me a thumbs down if we if we wait for star drop luck only. Because last time we went on a on a star drop luck day, and that uh, that went really well. We we got it in like just one reset. I hope you're feeling settled into your new home. Who is this guy? We're gonna give it a try. I see I see a lot of thumbs ups. We'll we'll water pies dish for good luck. We're gonna give it a, give it a whirl here. We'll come back for the salmon berries. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. There should be enough salmon berries to subsist us for now. I'm with you all, by the way. I definitely am. I'm itching for a little bit of mines progress. We made it to floor 25. We're going to floor 30. I made a lofty promise in the in the pre-stream chat that we we're gonna get to floor 80 today, and I'm gonna hold myself to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm. I mean, I can't control the luck on each day. If I could, then we'd be getting. All good luck all the all the time, but uh, luck willing, we will make it the floor eighty today. I'm gonna push myself to the breaking point. I wasn't looking and thought you were reading a comment. All right, emotional support bunny, we stand you. Thank you very much. We're going down to floor twenty five. I'm going to reset this floor because I hear... I already hear a bug. Okay. That's better. I mean, there might have been a freebie on that floor. I probably should have checked, but it's fine. All right. Check for freebies. No freebies, so we just start mining. So anyway, I started mining. Promising, <laughs> promising a 32-hour stream. Oof, oof. You really think it's going to take me 32 hours to get to floor 80? I mean, without any pickaxe upgrades, it's going to be difficult. But when you get these this kind of staircase luck, who needs pickaxe upgrades, baby? This is 25-1. Don't you forget it. 25-1. Oh, I got to set a poll up as well. Hold on. Poll me. We do, we do a little polling around here. How many resets... Or floor 30. Do the classics here. Zero. One to five. Six to ten. Or eleven plus. We're currently on zero.
Are both eels called Craig? Maybe they should be, just for maximal confusion. Next time Leap is in, we'll ask him to name the other eel. He named the first one Craig. It was, it's only fair. About a floor every 35 minutes for a 32-hour stream. I think we could do a little better than that, probably. In all likelihood. Especially if we get some freebies. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge game. What the heck? I opened the wrong picture. Um... No freebies, but also no enemies, which is kind of a, a nice reprieve, I'm not going to lie. All right. Ooh, a little geode. Do I take the geode? Probably not right now. Especially not now. <laughs> That's going to be one reset, but we're going to keep going for, uh, for staircase mapping purposes. I'm going to save those ones for the end, because I know I can I can technically eat the experience and check if there's staircases there now, but they do take extra energy, because they take two hits instead of one, so... Although now that they have the salmon berries, I guess that's not as big of a deal. Sorry to my zero, zero reset believers. But it's, uh... I mean, when you if you vote zero resets, you're... You're the you're the you're the peak of exclamation point optimism, and I appreciate it. But you also gotta know somewhere in your heart of hearts that it's probably not fated to be. But one one time, maybe you know, there might be one set one desk instead of five floors that it actually does happen on. We'll see. Tim Beeb has been pet 160 times. We gotta head set up a, a pie command as well to pet start petting pie, I suppose. <laughs> Should be an easy one to, to get going. I will do that probably between streams at some point there. 27-1 okay, acquired. Show me show me no freebies on this one. I want to actually gain some information here. I could. No freebies confirmed. I will say, so far, I've been feeling the effects of the good luck for sure. I mean, I don't think anything ever is going to compare again to the floor 20, the floor 15 to 20 saga. I think that was, because uh, I, I was doing that on like, not, it wasn't the worst luck day, but it was a bad luck day, <laughs> which uh, I didn't realize at the time. I didn't think that luck was honestly going to be that big of a factor, but uh, the, the quickness with which we found the first few staircases so far on these sets of floors is uh is pretty indicative of luck being a pivotal aspect of this that one took a little while longer but we got there in the end all right 28-1 please and show me something good on floor 29 here Do we call Pi a good boy or a good girl? Pi is male in my head. Uh, no freebies on this floor. Okay, that's good. Mind me. I really like this song. This song has a little bit of like uh, a backstory with it for me too, because it's it's the one that I use in the no level up video when I'm explaining stuff at the very beginning, and it's a uh, I don't know it kind of evokes the same vibes as anyone who's like watched like Pan and Coex videos on like Super Mario 64 when he has like the like the Super Mario 64 save game theme always in like the background of the explaining sections. This this is, feels like the Stardew equivalent of equivalent of that to me. I know Sardu literally has like a like a save game theme or like a load game theme, but something about this one like hits the same way to me. I don't know what it is. Yo, Lizard's Tail. Thank you so much for becoming a member at the Electron level. I greatly appreciate the uh the generosity. Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. High is a good number. Hard agree. 
how do they keep finding more digits of pi? Like, what's the process that they go through to, like, find more? What's the, how many digits of pi are, like, known as well? Like, how far down that rabbit hole have we gone? Or is there just, like, a computer out there that's, like, its one job is to compute pi forever? And it just keeps, like, cranking out number after number. And if that's the case, how do we know it's not just, like, making stuff up? <laughs> Is it possible to get a hotkey for the screenshot function? Uh, I was sent some mods for uh, for that exact purpose, but if I I would have to then I don't know maybe if there's a screenshot to also open like the or a hotkey to also open up the screenshot folder because I'd still have to go into the menu to open the folder itself, but uh, maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Either way, I'm I'm in my rhythm now, so I'm okay to to do this. To do it this way. You know, like 50 trillion pi digits? 60 trillion digits. Holy. Alright. Zoom me in. This is a pretty sparse floor. Do we have a staircase match there? Doot, 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 doot. I do not see a staircase match, so we're going to try and get another, another map going here then. That's unfortunate. That's that's not what you love to see, but at least we got another staircase here for uh, for mapping purposes. That's okay. The start of any set of five floors is always going to be the worst part because we have so little information to work with. But as we progress, we will continually gain more information until eventually the world is our oyster. No freebies. We start mining. Probably with a macro, but that's too complicated for me. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not, like, the hardest thing in the world to do. Or I guess I could just, like... Well, I guess if I just leave the, the folder open, the screenshot folder open, then I can, like, alt-tab to it. That adds its own little wrinkle into things with my setup, but it's it's probably fine. Did the West actually celebrate Pi Day? I don't know about celebrate Pi Day... I know at least people around here, like, mention it. It's like a novelty. It's one of those novelty holidays that, like, no one really celebrates, but people, like, are like, yo, it's Pi Day. Happy Pi Day. And then everyone just carries on with their business, right? That's usually the way it goes, at least in my neck of the woods. I don't know if anyone sets aside time for, like, Pi Day parties. Go eat some, like, all various different flavors of pie. Shaped like the digits of pie. That would be wild. Could you imagine that? Do you imagine baking a pie shaped like the number three? <laughs> probably the closest you could realistically get is like, well, you probably could do it, I'm sure, but um, for the for the layperson, the best you would probably do is like make a pie and then like carve a three into the top. If you need my help with that one, I'm I'm not very artistic or good with you know carving and stuff, so just put put me on. Give me, give me the, the decimal place. Give me just a little circle. I can carve one of those into a pie, no problem. Alright, that's 27 2. Quick little look, see here. This year you made chicken pot pie for pie day? Yo. <laughs> I love that. There are pie shaped pies. In my first year of university, the res. Residence services handed out free mini pies to everyone on Pi Day. It's different if you live in a university setting, I think, for those sorts of holidays, like Pi Day, start like Star Wars Day, Talk Like a Pirate Day. I feel like those holidays have a little bit more uh, emphasis put on them in university, because in university, it's like everything is, like, I don't know. It's like a different world. University is not like the real world. It's just, it's like its own little pocket dimension. And I can say that from, from my one year of experience at university. And all my other information comes tangentially from friends or media. It's big in schools. I guess it's, I guess it's not just university. Yeah, it's probably like in high schools and stuff too, or even like elementary schools get kids hyped up about math i guess that's a good excuse to get people hyped up about math 
It's like, yo, do you know what? It's Pi Day. Do you know what Pi is? It's this mathematical little constant, and rah, 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 and you can start teaching uh, teaching geometry in a way that seems, you know, cooler than it might otherwise. I'm here for that. I'm here. For, I'm all for making learning cool. Learning on its own should be cool, but I know it's not. It's not cool and fun for everybody. So that whatever we can do to make it more palatable for people, in including literally making it palatable by incorporating delicious pies. Favorite pie? Go banana cream pie. Best pie flavor bar none. There's a freebie on this floor, so we just we're just gonna reset here. Can't wait to enter the real world when I graduate at the end of the month. Yo, Hannah, congratulations. <laughs> and uh, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry as well. But that is a long journey that you're coming to the end to. Or that you're coming to the end of. Well done on making it that far. Never tried a regular pie? What, what constitutes a regular pie? What's the normal pie flavor? <laughs> Triple berry pie, chocolate pecan pie, never tried either of them. Chicken, bacon, and leek pie. I don't mind I don't mind a savory pie. I'll take a savory pie every now and again. A little chicken pot pie. That one's just a fun one to say. Just got out of your chemistry lab. You didn't work with any argon, but you should next week. What do you use argon for in a chemistry lab? It's a no it's one of the noble gases. I know this to be true. It's very unreactive, just like me. What what's it what's its primary use? What can it do that no other element can do? I also want to find out what this is. Ooh, little prehistoric hand axe. We'll save that for for the future here. Key lime, coconut cream, and butterscotch are so good. I can't think of butterscotch pie without thinking of Undertale immediately every time. It's ingrained in me. All right. Switch me over here. I see. We'll, we'll make this a little bigger. Um, well, it was, <laughs> it was a bit fruitless. All right. No freebies here. What about? We have a match. Uh, there's a there's a knight's move one right there. So we'll check that one. And what about this one here? That one is a staircase, probably, but it's also under the, the gray stone. I hope that doesn't mess with anything, if, like, that's the only staircase on this floor. I guess we'll find out. We'll break this one first, then otherwise, I don't think we have any any recourse otherwise, other than to just keep breaking rocks. EJR! Get a, get a pickle jar rag? Pickle pie? Pickle pie rag? We don't really have pies at all here. What the heck? <laughs> I, don't, I, I thought pies were a universal phenomenon. Yo, let's go. Knights, knights move strats, stay winning. It's so catchy. How can you not love this song every single time? Crank it up. All right, bring me over here to the lab. I see no freebies, unfortunately. Pickle jar pie. Sounds delicious, quite frankly. All right, right there. Boop, boop, boop. That's a crab right there. Boop, boop, boop. This this could be one right here if uh, if Knight's Move strategies hold true. All right, so a little left of that wall there, part of that two-piece, okay? Top part of that two-piece. And then that one there. Wait, are those part of the... Hold on. Wait, no. Okay, no, this one up here. Ooh, we just got a potential staircase right there. So this one, and if not, then we pivot down to, to that one right there. Easy money. EJR gets a little old after hearing it a thousand times. Charlo J. Tell me how you really feel. If you're, t if you're telling me that PJR should be removed from the soundtrack... I mean, just, just you just got to say it. Just, we don't have to dance around the the topic. I'm not saying everyone has to love PJR, but but come on now. <laughs> Ban incoming? No, I would never. Especially not for Charlie J. He's been a been a huge help with many things. 
Perfect. All right. Perfect staircase luck. The, ma the mapping strategy, dude. I'm telling you. Second to none. Well, second to the predictor, probably. <laughs> All right. 27. Bring me over. No freebies. Man, this floor has a lot of rocks. That does not actually, that does not bode well. That could bode well, though. Just, just beneath the light. You see that light at the end of the tunnel? That's what the one we're going for, except it's in the middle of the tunnel. And, ooh, one right there as well. Okay, well, I think we go to that one first. It's closer. And then we go to the light if that doesn't work out. Getting very lucky on a good luck day. Who would have thought? Well, how about that? Were there any uh, any crates or barrels? I don't think I saw any, so my inventory is full anyway. All right, floor 28. This is the furthest we've made it so far. In uh, How many resets is that? Is that two resets? I think we're at two resets currently. Counting with Argon. Two resets. Ah, ah, ah. Will we go three is the question. Okay. I see a mushroom that I can't pick. That's foraging experience, but no freebies, unfortunately. Where is the... Where even is the okay, down here. Uh, don't think we have any useful information from that one. What about the other one here? Down here. Is there a knight's move? I think that one's a knight's move, just beneath that vine there. That's a, bit, that's a bit of a Hail Mary. We'll give it a try, though, because we have no other information to work with. Fingers crossed. Need some good luck. Hello, Maggie. Welcome on in. You have so many screenshots of this floor. Floor 28, really? <laughs> What's so special about floor 28? All right, just south of the vines here, please. Yo! chat it's happening it's happening all we need is one freebie and we're good to go that said i do see that we're trapped behind a wall of stones right now all right 29 i've only got one map to compare against here for floor 29 so this does not bode well i also hate to tell you i don't think i see a freebie on this uh on this one i do see a lot of crates which is nice all right, where was the staircase? It's right there next to the pebbles. You would... Come on, man. <laughs> really? All right, knights move me. One, two... Uh, doot, 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 doot. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, it's not gonna go any... It's not gonna go, like, all the way down there. There's no shot. All right, we just got... We just gotta mine and pray. <laughs> nothing beats the smell of rhubarb I, I would argue the taste of rhubarb beats the smell of rhubarb rhubarb is fantastic Ooh, it's just that easy. I don't know why I'm going out of my way for this stone. There we go. <laughs> Floor 30. Very disappointing. A severe lack of, of chests down here. That's two resets, baby. And that pole. One to five resets. That, that was the majority. That was 42 right there. We made it. We've made it to floor 30. Chat, we're one quarter of the way through the entire mines without gaining any, even a single point of mining or combat experience. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. Let's go do a victory lap of the garbage cans. No, let's do a victory lap of salmon berries, honest, honestly. While I'm up in this neck of the woods, we might as well start collecting some, uh, all these salmon berries here. Running on a lucky day seems to make all the difference. I didn't, I honestly, maybe I put too much stake in how, uh, 
how likely or how much of an impact luck had on getting like ore and coal and stuff out of just random rocks because it does impact that but it seems like the effect it has on staircases at least anecdotally so far is much much better much higher than i thought it's like way more than enough to offset that uh whatever difference that there is there i'm here for it Dark floors are going to be a nightmare. The pictures won't help. Pictures can help, like, a little bit. You can see kind of in parts of the dark floors. <laughs> but that is going to be uh, it's going to be a test of patience for sure. It's going to be like a magic eye picture. Prehistoric hand axe. Oh, I forgot the prehistoric hand axe. You're right. I will go back for it. Thank you for the, for the intel. I'm gonna have to drop something off in order to to get the prehistoric hand axe, but I think it's worthwhile for sure. Go ahead and just uh, just drop my fiber. I think drop the fiber right there. Sorry, drop the fiber right there. You should make torches. I would if I were able to craft torches. <laughs> Crafting a torch is its own goal. That said, I can just pick up torches that are scattered around throughout the mines. So I could go to like an earlier floor, grab some torches from that, and and those might be helpful. But otherwise, we're going to be without torches, yeah. Pray for the discovery of a glow ring. Yeah, glow rings would be a godsend, that's for sure. We could try to complete the night fishing bundle. <laughs> that gives you a glow ring, right? A small glow ring, something like that. Glow ring won't help with the screenshots, also true. What if I take the screenshots and bring them into, like, Photoshop and just, like, brighten them? Probably not worth the time investment, huh? <laughs> Get some exclamation point Haley. See what she has to say. We're not allowed to talk to her in person, so we'll have to talk to her from a distance via... Via a facsimile of her consciousness uploaded in digital form through Nightbot. Nice shoes. Are those made out of plastic? That's literally what she would have said to me. <laughs> it's like one of the first things that she says when you meet her. I swear. It's like, or, I mean, it's one of the things that she can say in like the early days, at least. <laughs> That's my Haley. Isn't collecting the prehistoric hand axe technically progression towards a later goal? <laughs> I've thought long and hard about how I feel about museum progression and donations to the museum. And honestly, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think ha get, having access to museum rewards is better for the health of the challenge and the, and the potential strategies than, uh, than the alternative of not being able to donate until you get that one specific goal that requires you to like finish donating to the museum. And realistically, who's going to donate every single thing to the museum except, like, one thing? Just so, like, <laughs> that, just so the star drop goal is easier in the end. It's not going to be me, I'll tell you that much. I, I've got bigger fish to fry. Bigger things to worry about in this challenge. Anyway, here's, a do here's another donation. We were already committed. We've got three artifacts. Name another person who could have three artifacts with zero experience. By the 16th of spring, I'll wait. I mean, you could probably just drop a list of all other Stardew Valley players, because I don't think it's actually that hard. But <laughs> getting getting artifacts of all things without experience is, is one of the easier things to accomplish, I would say. More luck-based than anything, but still pretty easy at the end of the day. You thought I was just collecting them all to donate at the end? I mean, that's one way I could have approached it, but I also like the... Like, because I want to be able to donate to access Krobus at some point, to just access the sewers in general. But I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, farm artifacts unless I need to speak to Krobus specifically, or if I need to, uh... Do something else. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting that Crystallarium as a reward for getting 50 minerals donated. 
that would be pretty huge for for jade duplication prospects but it's not super high on the priority list just yet you want to keep all all 11 of your chicken statues until you get a full dozen that's like me with my garbage hats trying to collect to trying to collect a full set Isn't collecting gold technically progression towards the gold clock? You're so right. I gotta reset this run. We can't make any... <laughs> Imagine not being able to make money. Oh, gosh. There would be so many goals that would be locked behind making money that, like, getting the gold clock would be, like, almost guaranteed to be your first goal. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious, honestly. Imagine having 999 living hats. New challenge idea just dropped. Have a good one there, GG. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your uh, enjoy your sleep. Perfect music to sleep to, honestly. This relaxing... I mean, I consider it like the spa music, even though it's not the spa music, but it's the music we play in the spa. We get some tea emojis. Tea emojis that match the mood here. Pull it, Whip out a cuppa. A cup of tea. Your, a cup of your favorite beverage, whatever that might be. We can all sit around and have a nice relaxing... Uh, Nice relaxing sip together. You know what? I'll take advantage of that to hydrate. I'm so tempted to sleep instead of study. Atlas, I feel like it might be beneficial if you do sleep instead of study. If you're if you're like really tired, I don't I don't think studying is gonna benefit you. That doesn't work for me, at least. Like, if I if I were to study something when I'm, like, extremely tired, I'm not retaining most of that information, I don't think. I'm retaining, like, a solid, like, 20% of the information that I that I read. Maybe maybe your brain works differently. If so, then you do you. But uh, I think well-rested Argon is better at retaining information, for sure. Don't tempt me. I'm just a procrastinator. Okay, then. <laughs> Disregard. We get 100 salmon berries today, do you think? I think I, we're, we're very close, but I don't know if we have enough bushes left around here. 98 salmon berries. I guess I don't need to be carrying around this soggy newspaper. I can, I can take the fiber instead. Ooh, 99 berries. If I were to hoard one piece of garbage from the garbage cans, though, it probably would be the soggy newspapers, just so I could turn them into cloth at a later date, once I have the uh, recycling machine from... I think it's the field research bundle? Hold on, I think there might be bushes down here that I could check for salmon berries. The legendary 100th salmon berry. There they are! 100 and 101, too. The sequel to 101 Dalmatians that nobody wanted. 101 Salmons. Actually, I'm pretty sure 101 Dalmatians did have a sequel. It was was it one of those like direct to video sequels? I would definitely believe that to be the case. Is it like 102 Dalmatians? <laughs> Why does that make me laugh so much? It might honestly, legitimately be that too, which is the best part. little sap. Don't really need the sap right now. I appreciate the thought, though. It is 102 Dalmatians. I knew it. I knew it. They couldn't resist, man. Not that I would be able to, either. <laughs> is there a... It, who's the 102nd Dalmatian, though? What's, his, what's their name? 
All right, 104 sand berries. I think it's good to call it a night right there. Ooh, we got another achievement. Moving up, I should have guessed. Coulda, shoulda, and woulda guessed. Holy. Well, I kind of want to redesign this space, but before we do, let's see if we have to reset. If we're, if we're on a reset kind of day. Definitely not. The spirits are very displeased. That's fine. I am going to reset once for salmon berry potential. 101 Dalmatians 2 is the animated sequel. That's so that's such a such a terrible name, honestly. Yo, chat, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I don't need you. I don't need the scythe really. I can I can just use my rusty sword as a scythe. Actually, you know what? No, I should keep the rusty sword instead because sometimes in killing slimes and stuff on the mines. Let's freaking go. We're storing the stone, store the hardwood, store this, store that. Oh my gosh, this inventory has never looked more clean. Yay, mini fridge? This is this is a whole fridge. Skip the mini. Oh my gosh, what $10,000 ice chest. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good assortment of tools to keep on me. I might not even really... Actually, I probably don't really need the axe. I can just save that for... Uh, I can save that for debris days. Pickaxe, hoe, rusty sword. These, these are common enough, especially the hoe I can... Let's do like this. I like that. Get some bee emojis in chat as well. Perfect timing. Getting hyped up with the bees. All right. Unnamed eel into the fridge with you. Craig, you can you can you can sleep with me over here. Move the bed as well, just like a, a teensy bit. Let's just mix mix things up a little bit. Why not? Well, we can actually put this back on our table now, which I kind of like. I kind of like that aesthetic. We need more furniture, realistically, here. But we'll spread this out, like, a little bit. Maybe we do, like, one of those. Sure, why not? That's fine. That's fine for now. Bedroom's a little sparse, but we'll make it work eventually. Don't cook it. <laughs> I could never. I literally can't. Why is this such a good song? It goes so hard. Unbelievable. I don't have my watering can. I'm sorry, Pi. It's not, it's not a vital instrument. Maybe it should be, though. Maybe I should make room for the watering can. Just so I, just so I can keep pie nice and watered. Hydrated. Hydrate, don't dehydrate. I think we're doing it. I'm committing to the watering can. And put one of the ben windows in the bedroom or the kitchen. That's true. That is true. I always forget that you can move the windows. Move like there you go, and have the sun stream in to wake you up. We'll move this one like over here. I kind of like that. Daily pick, don't forget, Monty. I appreciate it, but we have a mod that takes care of that now. Very, the very first time I step out of the house every day, it automatically takes a picture, which is uh, very nice for business. But I appreciate you staying on top of that. Hey there, Spooky. What are we up to? We're currently just waiting for good luck days, basically, in order to... Well, actually, now now that I have inventory space, even on not good luck days, we can go and start farming for hardwood. Or maybe since we... Maybe we just wait for good luck days anyway, and then, like, once we finish... Once we finish a, uh, a set of five floors in the mines, then we just stick around at the mines and spend the rest of the day farming hardwood anyway, because we're, we're already there. And we just try and get up to 10 hardwood as, as quick as we can. I don't know. We'll try we'll try a little hardwood farming probably after salmon berry season. Because I do think I do think uh it's it's a bit time consuming, but what in this challenge isn't. <laughs> get gathering salmon berries is gonna be in our best interest. Just having a nice steady supply of, of food for the near future here. Does the name pie come from the kitten being round? <laughs> It's the most cursed chat message I've ever seen. But if you want an honest answer, no. Pi is a uh, 
Hi is a creation of Stardew Valley's random name generator. I don't know how that didn't fall in the river, by the way. That was, that was a blessed salmonberry right there. Almost said blessed raspberry for some reason. Why aren't there raspberries in Stardew Valley? That would be such a nice... Nice crop. It would be so pretty. There's a ton more hardwood after floor 40. Maybe we wait until floor 40 then to try and do that. I haven't looked into the hardwood statistics. I just know that you can get it from crates and barrels in the mines. I don't know if it actually... Actually, I have looked into this in the past, like a long time ago. I think hardwood can... I, I don't know if it appears at like heightened rates later in the mines, but I think there's a chance for multiple pieces of hardwood to appear in the same crate. I think that's what it is later later on in the mines. Like you can get like two or even three depending on your mine depth. That is that is probably a worthy consideration because that could like double or even triple the rate at which we even get hardwood. Ooh, trilobite. Probably donate that tomorrow when I drop, stop by the museum anyway for... Uh, well, actually, I guess I can donate it today because when I do my trash run tomorrow, there's no guarantee it'll be... The museum will even be open. Let me go donate it right now, actually, just because if I spend all day harvesting sand berries when I get done in the forest, it'll be, it'll be time to go to bed, basically. Probably no raspberries because blackberries and sand berries are more native to the Pacific Northwest, which is where Concerned Ape is from. Fair. You know what? Never even thought of that. That is a very cogent, realistic answer. Thank you, Wickety. It would be super funny if Pi being round would be canon in the Stardew universe. <laughs> I'm just picturing a round cat, like a cylindrical cat now. I, mean, I can't, I have to admit, it makes me chuckle. And Beatrix being a math nerd. I definitely, I definitely could see Beatrix being a math nerd. I mean, this challenge more than any other challenge is uh, is reliant on you know math and RNG in places, and it's very uh, very strategically planned. Not to say that Chloe isn't also smart and a math nerd in her own right, but uh, I think Beatrix cranks that factor up to eleven and a half because math. It's still the dwarf. <laughs> It is still the dwarf. We haven't even seen the dwarf in this in this challenge yet. This is the hilarious thing. As soon as we get a uh, a bomb from a supply crate, then we'll be able to actually meet the dwarf for the first time if we want to. But won't be able to get any friendship with them until until that dwarf scroll three pops around and all the other dwarf scrolls. But I mean, come on now. <laughs> Not gonna take that long to get those dwarf schools. We could probably get all three of the rest of them in like two days, max. Do I think Beatrix will also woo Haley? In all likelihood, no. It depends on the order of the goals that we get for the randomizer, but it's it is possible. Beatrix will marry someone eventually, because you have to for perfection. Or you have to get Krobus as a housemate. Yo, maybe we, could we add a mod to ma let us marry the dwarf, our first true love? I would kind of love if there was like a mod to marry the dwarf, which there probably is. But when you marry the dwarf, he doesn't move in. He just stays in his cave. And he's like, no, you can move in with me. I'm not leaving my cave. <laughs> and you relocate your home to the mines, which would honestly be pretty prime real estate. Yo, Karanate, or Karanate, however however you might pronounce it. I want to put a little panache on it, just based on etymological history. But either way, appreciate you being here. First live stream. Happy to have you here. Thank you for thank you for the kind words about the roguelike and stuff. Roguelike VODs f f five times. Oh my gosh. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm happy to have you along for the ride today.
Is getting the museum star drop an individual gold? It, it, it is. But like donating to the museum, I would it's 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 a, it's in a weird sort of limbo state. If in your version of the challenge you want you were to like if you were playing through this yourself, you wanted to make it so you couldn't donate until you get that goal. I think that's totally fair. But it does it does throw a lot of things for a loop. Like you won't be able to get to the sewers, which kind of precludes a lot of things. And for me, the easiest thing, if it if I'm gonna make a concession in difficulty in this challenge in any place, I'm okay with it being that I can donate to the museum freely. <laughs> that's that's fine. Everything else, like, do you see all the other hoops that I'm trying to jump through right now? <laughs> I think I can I can I think we can agree to hopefully just let that one be my one saving grace here. Welcome on in, Benny. Got home finally. Happy to have you here. I love this song so much more now that we have a like a version of it with lyrics. A fan-made version. It's so good. It always sticks in my head whenever this song plays. Just make one of the goals to get the living hat. Uh, I mean, we already we already got Vector's challenge in there. Is that not enough? You, do you want me to cry on stream when we roll the living hat goal? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. How many tears will be enough? <laughs> I kid, I kid. Although now that you mention it, you know, adding the living hat as a goal, I've never gotten the living hat even to this day. Might be a worth might be a worthy consideration. Living Hat is thankfully not required for perfection, otherwise no one would have ever, ever gotten perfection because they would have looked at that requirement and been like, yeah, no. Unless they got like lucky earlier on and they just got the Living Hat anyway. Do I think we'll finish this challenge this year? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, to be perfectly, bluntly, completely honest, I could see us not finishing this challenge in 2023. This one could go could go the distance. I think it's probably going to be longer than the price of perfection, but I also do realize that when we get to the later stages of the challenge, um, we're going to have a lot more... A lot, a lot of the restrictions that we have now won't be in place anymore because of the goals that we'll have completed. So we'll be able to, to make progress, like, a bit easier. <laughs> it's in a weird state where it does get easier as the challenge goes on, but it's going to take a while for us to realistically get to that point. Twenty twenty six, and we're still doing this. If I can be perfectly blunt with you, it all depends on when we get the golden clock goal. Because we'll get it, we'll have to do it eventually, obviously. It's required for perfection. It's just a matter of whether we get it early in the challenge or, like, as one of our final ones. Because if it's near the end, then it's more or less just doing, like, normal gameplay to get the golden clock, which is still a bit of a grind, but not, not nearly as insane as it could be. <laughs> Quick check for exactly that, for slimes. A whole year, the dwarf sure is hard to befriend. I don't think we're going to be on this goal for, like, the whole year. I think we'll be able to at least complete this one goal, our first goal, but, but by the end of the year. The challenge as a whole, though. I mean, do you see how many goals we have to complete? 565? Not all of them are going to take this much concerted effort, but it, uh, it's not going to be a walk in the park, we'll say that. Auto Grabber does not give you farming XP, which is a very nice quality of life upgrade if we can get one. When's the first video coming out? I wanted to make it so that we completed like our first goal in the first video of this series, but at this rate, we might have enough content to make a, our first episode before that even happens. Ooh, good luck day. You know what that means, chat. First, I think today is still Sandberry Day, so we're gonna reset once just for 
just for salmon berry's sake. That doesn't count towards our total resets for the mines floors, because now we're going to go floors 30 to 35. Which, mind you, are the dark floors. They're the first part of the dark floors. I'll set up a poll here. How many resets for floor 35? This is going to be scary. We're going to need our emotional support rabbit for, uh, <laughs> for every step of this process, I think. All right. Could it be zero? The legendary zero resets? One to five? Six to ten? Or eleven? Oop. Eleven plus. We got to the dark floors. Heck yeah. Yeah, floor, floor 30. It only took two resets, which was very nice. All right, do I need to bring anything for uh, these floors? I don't think so. I think we already got everything that we need. Got some flower petals drifting down from the heavens. I'll be back, Pi. Whether in this in this timeline or the next, I'll be back. <laughs> Why do you reset for salmon berries? The way salmon berries spawn, it's like if you reset the day. Um, the salmon berries will, like, they'll try to spawn again, I think, is how it goes. And so they have a chance to spawn on bushes that they didn't spawn on the first time. So you get a lot more salmon berry bushes that, are, that show up when you reset the day. I don't know the exact code behind how it works. That would be a question for Blade. But it's, I just know that it does work. Are we obtaining the Queen of Sauce recipes? We are, yeah. I don't think we missed any yet. Please get a new sword. It's killing me. I don't want to kill any monsters, though. <laughs> I guess I want to kill the monsters on my farm. We do have a, uh, a steel small sword waiting on floor 20, I'm pretty sure. So once we get to floor 35, then we'll try and do that one, I think. Or we'll go pick up that sword. All right. Let's see what we're in for with, these, with this screenshot pack here. First, I'm going to go ahead and... Move all my floor 25 to 30 screenshots into their folder here. Um, okay. It's not ideal. I'll, I'll, I mean... I might need a little help here, chat. <laughs> Hold on, can you see? Do you see any... Do you see a staircase? Do you see any freebies? I see rocks. I see some bugs. <laughs> I'm... I'm trying, man. I'm tr I'm I'm squinting. Maybe a filter in OBS, maybe. Did I see Lee's video on how Blade got fishing max in a single day? It was didn't uh, didn't Sha Shawnee did a video of that, right? I saw I mean didn't didn't Blade do his own video of that? I think I watched that originally. I did watch Shawnee do his video about that as well. Either way, we're, uh, we're a little bit screwed on the dark floors, probably. <laughs> we'll get through it. We'll get through it together, don't you worry. But, uh, I'm pretty sure there's no freebies on this, on this floor, as best I can tell. So we're just gonna start mining and hoping for the best. Oh no, the golems. Okay. I'm gonna right-click after every single rock break, because I can't really tell when a staircase is there. Actually, I shouldn't right-click. I should, I should just look as close as I can, because I need to screenshot it if there is a staircase there. Wait, I think, is that a staircase? I can't tell. It, it, it feels, it looks, there's like a little brown thing there. Is that a stair, oh my god. <laughs> oh no, 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 I need to get a, I need to get a torch, dude. I need to like, go back to a previous floor and find the torch. That's a staircase. That's a staircase. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to take a screenshot of that. <laughs> That's a staircase right there. Um, I'll name this 31-1. Okay, perfect. We made it. We made it past one floor. This is pain. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We only got like like nine more floors of this. It's fine. All right. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm pretty sure there's no freebies. 
I'm gonna have to take a little while longer to parse these ones. This one's got a little bit more light at, going on, at least. This one's this one's not as dark as the previous level. This one's for my zero reset believers. What if uh, what if in the dark floors of the mines there's just no chance for for ores or anything to spawn out of these rocks. What if we just get no experience by design? Wouldn't that be cool? Ooh, I mean, it's shaping up pretty well so far. Hope for a bat swarm to lighten it up. Never in my life would I have thought to be hoping for a bat swarm. There is a color correction filter in OBS. I could do that. Then I'd have to, like, look at the screenshot through OBS. For now, I mean, we'll, we'll see how bad this gets. For now, I'm content to just, to just get a little bit of eye strain. We have decided against the predictor, yeah. Except in, like, ultra-extreme cases. Alright. Oh, this is a small floor. This, this is, like, a little baby floor, right? We can just, like, casually glance for a staircase around here. I do not see one. There's nothing hidden in the middle here. Okay. Oh man, I was starting to believe that 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 the postulate that you know you can't get ores or anything from these rocks down in these section of the mines was was true for a second, <laughs> but uh, alas, his not so. Wasn't meant to be on our first try here. That's okay. All right, that's thirty three dash one. Okay. Don't think I... Oh my gosh, there's like a completely pitch black section in here. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, this, uh, this... This floor is okay, though. You know, this might not be so bad. This might not be as bad as we're, as we're all thinking. It's a good luck day. We haven't had to do more than like one reset. Well, more than like two resets so far in any of the, the good luck days we've tried doing the mines. So if we can, if that holds true, I don't mind doing this for like two resets, doing the dark floors. That's, that's, that's doable. Oh, is that a staircase? No, that's just a wall. <laughs> Anyone else wake up at 3 a.m. trying to go to the bathroom? Walking down a dark corridor because you don't want to turn on the lights, the lights on to wake up your family? And you mistake the wall for a staircase? That's a, that's a staircase? That is a staircase, okay. <laughs> it's not the not the most ideal placement for one, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, 34-1. What are the best best floors in the mines for jade farming? Um, I've heard that Habu does it on floor. 41. I think that's what I think that's what Leap said last time it was in, or they seen Habu do it on floor 41 at least. But I don't know if that's the best one specifically. All right, uh, exit the title. Let's go again. That is pretty much exactly what we're doing, Kafer. Yeah. basically building a, a matrix of possible staircases for each floor. So every failed attempt, we get a little bit closer to finding a path all the way through. And then uh, and once we get there, then we, we win. Once we get five floors down, zero XP, we're golden. Torches. Can't craft any torches. I will go looking briefly for... Because uh, here's the thing. I'm going to have to get a torch every single reset. And I don't think torches are, like, consistently... I don't think they consistently appear on certain floors. I think they're just, uh... I think there's, like, a chance for them to appear. Let me go have a look. Can I just steal... <laughs> I can just steal the campfire. Steal Linus's campfire real quick. I'm, I'll bring it back, Linus. Don't worry. I just need to borrow this. Alright, let me just check, like, every floor. 
Just a quick, a quick peruse. I guess I don't need to check floor 10 or 20, but... Actually, I can, I can go check floor, like, 11, I guess. Quick perusal for some torches. There's a torch. Okay. I'll take, I'll take two torches. I'll do that. We'll make it work. Where'd the bunny come from? He was, it was a gift from Pierre. It only... I mean, it was a gift in exchange for two thousand dollars, but it's my it's my emotional support bunny. He doesn't have a name. He's just the emotional support bunny. Yo, Karita was touring some colleges. Now you got to go again. But well, thanks for dropping in. Happy to see you. Hope the hope the college tours went well. Best of luck to you on that regard. Okay. All right, bear with me on this one, chat. So this is our current floor. I see an earth crystal there. I see another torch there. I don't see any freebies, I don't think. What about floor 31-1? So that, that, like, where Beatrix's face is. That's our staircase. I don't think Knight's move meta is going to help me all that much here. <laughs> Mid... No, I don't think so. I think we're I think we're just we're, I think we're just mining on this one. Just mine and hope for the best, yo! One staircase, Marty. You love it when that happens. I'll even pick up this earth crystal. Just because I'm confident. Alright, so this is this is a good staircase for the future if we can get that to happen. Let me actually hold the torch just so it's nice and nice and illuminated for the screenshot. Perfect. 31-2. It's actually the Easter Bunny who's now trapped in Argon's game. <laughs> that why I didn't see him at Easter? Come on, man. He didn't, he didn't give me any, any Easter eggs this year. Not a single one. Alright. Let's uh, go down. 432. I'm not that scared of, of getting to floor 35 here. Maybe I, I shouldn't speak too soon, I guess, but I, I think that floors 35 to 40 are going to be harder because there's like an extra floor that you have to do there versus, versus this set of floors. That said, let's have a look here. I see a crate. I see a couple crates. I don't think I see a staircase, though. Let's do a little comparison. Don't think that's going to help. All right, so let's go mine. Tim quoted my LP in one of his recent videos and said, and win. That is a throwback, Salem. Oh my gosh. That's a throwback from the old pre-Stardew days. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in so long. Yo, I hope Tim is doing well. I haven't had a chance to catch up on any of his content recently, but he's still doing his darn thing, and I respect him for it. Some mixed seeds for some I didn't even remember you could get those from from crates, quite frankly. That's a hoe. My bad. What the Oh, that's the bats! Let's go! Bat swarm! Illuminate my floor! Yes! But don't kill me in the process, please. I mean I got a lot of salmon berries, so hopefully that'll help. Oh, and that's perfect. Thank you so much. You love to see it. All right, this is 32-2. That's so that's so bright on the screenshot there. Holy. All right. Uh, let me get this. I'm not going to get that crate because I have to break another rock to get there. All right. Oh, gosh. I was like, where was the bottom of that torch? It was hidden behind a dang golem. <laughs> okay. Um, get my crates. Look for look for freebies. It's a small enough floor we can just check it manually. There's too many golems on this floor. Oh my goodness. Alright. Screenshot me. 433. Have a look here. Okay. 
Okay, right there, sort of in the middle section. Doot, 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 doot. No, I don't think that's doing anything. I don't, I don't think so. I think we're just going to have to mine this one away, too. Okay, we've been having pretty good luck so far. Go figure. I mean, you wouldn't know it based on the amount of monsters on this floor, but... I just got to make sure not to kill a monster by mistake. Namely, one of these bugs, because they've only got one hit point. Please. A single morsel of a staircase. Yo, there's a single morsel of a staircase. Let's go. All right. Sometimes all you have to do is ask, chat. Sometimes all you have to do is ask politely. And the game will the game will concede. It just goes to show sometimes sometimes manners are the are the ultimate cheat code. All right. Final barrier between us and floor 35 here. Didn't think it would come this fast. I don't think anybody did, but there's there's a chance. There is a chance today. That is a lot of rocks. That is a that is a metric ton of rocks on this floor. I don't see a staircase in and amongst them either. There's possibly one in this section, but it would be it would be really hard to tell. There's at a glance. What do we have to compare against? I can barely see that. <laughs> I think that that's a knight's move away right there. This one, like, way at the bottom of, of this little L. I think that is. We'll give it a try. We'll go We'll go give that one a whirl, because that's really the best I can do with the information that is presented to me. I'm going to hold my torch just to, just to scour for any potential staircases I might have missed. It's at the bottom of this L here, if I can get there. Hopefully. Is that- is that a staircase? It's a staircase! Let's go! Floor 35! It's just that easy, baby! How are we cruising so fast? The good luck strategy really pays off that well? That's hard to believe. Oh my gosh, I'll hold on to the torches for now. And the earth crystal, and... It's, it's, we're, we're flying, dude. We're flying through this all of a sudden. Are these mines supposed to be hard or whatever? We're gonna be at floor 40. This was this was the milestone we wanted to reach originally. OGs will remember from the from the original no level up challenge, getting to floor 40 was such a huge accomplishment. We're about to do that. Sans experience. That was lucky. It was I was hundred percent skill. I don't know what we were talking about. How many scrolls have we donated? Zero. Is that bad? We have access to two. We can we could technically get two like right now if we wanted to. We just have to grind it out. Found a lost book. The library has been expanded. Is that how that works? Nerve and skill. <laughs> it's all skill, baby. I'm amazed at how <laughs> at how much progress we've made. If you told me yesterday that in the first like hour and a half of the stream, we we would get down like what 15 floors, definitely 100% would not have believed you. Now all of a sudden, I'm just it's maybe this floor 80 prediction that I posited at the very start of the stream is not as uh, is not as wild as I thought it would be. Every time I find a lost book, my library grows by one millimeter. Citation needed. What if the next goal is an impossible one? Uh, I have coded the randomizer in such a way that it should not give impossible goals. So we should be fine. Some of them are going to be, like, heinous. Because they ain't us. They're heinous because they ain't us. But none of them should be outright impossible. The plan is is the plan to get the slime hutch and slime eggs from Skull Cavern for one scroll. That is that is correct. That is hundred percent the path we're taking. Just because it's so funny that you actually can do that. 
we'll be able to get all four Dwarf Scrolls experience free. That said, we aren't going to be able to complete the goal itself of befriending the Dwarf experience free, I don't think. At least not as far as, like, all skills go. I think we get one mining experience from breaking the rock between us and the Dwarf. And I think we're I think we're just gonna have to eat that experience, unfortunately. I don't think I don't think there's a way around it, to be honest with you. I don't want to meet these children. Coded in JavaScript, not Python. Hope we get the trash hat sometime, that would be nice. It's it's only a matter of time. We're checking enough trash cans, we should get multitudes of trash hats. I'm gonna get these mixed seeds out of here. I guess I could start holding on to mixed seeds now. I could also donate this earth crystal while I'm thinking about it. Actually, I'm gonna sell the earth crystal. I'd rather have the money. Does that cutscene count towards meeting the kids? I think if you let them talk, it does. Yeah, we haven't met the kids still. Yeah, the jazz is on hill. But I think if their dialogue boxes open up, then that counts as meeting them. Not that it's that big of a deal. There's te there's nothing really against meeting people. I would just, you know... It's just a nice little trophy to have. 7 out of 24. Is that how many people I've met? How many people have I met? I've met 5 out of 28. 7 24ths of the way done the mines been so long since I've done fraction, fractional math like that. Yeah, there is one dwarf scroll. You can you can only get it from killing certain monsters, not all slimes, but slimes have like the, the highest chance, at least blue slimes do. But if we can get some slimes in a slime hutch and kill them that way, they don't give combat experience nor do they contribute to the uh, slime eradication goal. So we can kill as many slimes as we want there and still get the chance at the drop. That is the current plan, is to get that slime hutch going. Plant the mixed seed and never harvest them just for the aesthetic. I can honestly kind of get behind that. take a lottery on what it's going to grow into. I mean, most you'll be able to tell from, like, the when we first planted, I guess, but that could still be fun. What's the plan to get Iridium for the Slime Hutch? I will either get it from Spelunking in Skull Cavern itself, because you can get Iridium Bars from Treasure Rooms as well, or I can get it from, uh, I would have to get the Furnace from the Blacksmith's Bundle, and then get Iridium Ore from Magma Geodes or Omni Geodes, I'm pretty sure. Both have a chance to drop them, or both have a chance to get it. And then we just smelt it ourselves, because we can buy coal from Clint or get it other ways as well. The Iridium Bar should be highly doable. Refined Quartz is also pretty doable. It's... it's... it's more complex than I would like it to be. Like, Refined Quartz is going to be a little rarer than I would like it to be, but I think it should be totally fine as well. Welcome in, Bex. Happy to see you. Completing the community center isn't actually a goal. It's true, and I'm thankful for it. Oh, by the way, one thing I keep forgetting to mention... I keep, like, thinking, like, I need to mention this about the about the goals, and I just never do. One, everything in there, all, all the elements for perfection are in there, but if you look closely, you may notice when you get to the section listing all the star drops, there are, I believe, there's seven star drops total in the game. There are only six star drop-based goals. Pop quiz, this is a knowledge test. Can you guess which star drop goal... I have left out. And for what reason? If you if you think it through, it should make sense. Marriage? Note the marriage star drop is in there. That's its own goal. Secret Woods is its own goal. Fair star fair star drop is its own goal. 
Cygnus has, has got it. It is the fishing star drop because every single other, every single fish is its own goal. So by nature of completing all those goals, you're just going to get the star drop anyway in the mail once you catch the last fish. And I thought it would be kind of redundant to have the star drop goal as its own thing. Because if you got that, then it would just mean you'd have to catch all the fish and then you'd complete all those goals like right away, right, right then. Or it would be like you'd have to, you wouldn't be able to open the mail to get that star drop <laughs> until you got that goal, which just seemed a little silly to me. But I don't know, maybe it could be its own little wrinkle of, of fun. That, that is the only goal that is uh, required for perfection, but not listed as a goal in the spreadsheet because it just didn't make logical sense in my brain. Hopefully you will forgive this transgression. Putting the It's like the equivalent of putting right to-do list at the top of your to-do list. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's our salmon berry harvest all done. 240 salmon berries, basically, for for a few days' work. Could be worse. Right, sell the earth crystal. Can't sell anything else. We'll just hoard the rest. Because we can. Yeah, I'll hold on to the mixed seeds. You never know when they're going to come in handy. Oh, I should have uh, I should have gone and picked up the steel small sword. That's my bad. I just tried to fill my watering can at the oven. Don't mind me. <laughs> I thought Craig disappeared for a second. He's just wiggling at the top of the tank there. Look at him. He's he's doing laps, dude. Oh my gosh. This is the most fit eel I've ever seen. Is, does he ever stop? Look at this man go. He's vibing out to Emily's dance music. I love it. All right. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. A little 50 gold from the earth crystal. How is an earth crystal worth less than a loaf of bread? Make it make sense. Very viable music. So true. Have I messed up my collections at all? I just, I'm always a little paranoid. We're good though. All right, show me another good luck day. Star drop luck day, let's go. We're doing it. We're getting to floor 40 today, chat. Are you ready for this? Armor Beatrix, I have a request for you. Who is this person? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll get you a cauliflower when, I, when I'm told by, the, by Yoba to grow a cauliflower, okay? Calm down. Can't eat an earth crystal. I can't eat a, a block of gold either. Maybe it's really good bread. What's your favorite type of bread, chat? What's your if you if you could only eat one type of bread for the entirety of the rest of your life, what are you going with? Snap pick sourdough bread. Sourdough bread is top tier. It's usable in so many different circumstances, and it's just it just tastes great. I haven't had it in a long time, but it's uh whenever I do get the opportunity, we're going we're going sourdough. You're a rye bread enjoyer. No judgment. You don't like any bread that you've ever tried. That's that's rare, I think. Butter bread? Multigrain, sourdough or ciabatta. Artisan French bread. There's some good breads out there, dude. Do you think any anyone anyone who says banana bread? I don't know if does banana bread count as bread? Or is banana bread its own classification of like pastry? It's just like I mean it's like a People don't make sandwiches with banana bread, do they? I guess you could, but it would be like I I don't know, I'd look at you weird at the potluck. All right, let's have a look on floor 35 for a freebie. Banana bread is cake. Banana bread is bread. <laughs> the duality of chat. Croissants. I would cra classify croissants as not bread. I would classify croissants as a pastry. 
A, a, a baguette, I would say, is a, is bread. I would not classify croissants as bread, personally. Banana is bread. Is banana a fruit? Is banana a vegetable? All right. Well, I didn't even set up the pole. I still have the pole going from the previous one. What am I doing here? End pole. Well, we already know now that we're going to have at least one to five resets. So we're going to go ahead and set... Let's see. How many resets for floor... 40. This is the big one. Floor 40 is a huge milestone here. And we got the music, the right music to accompany it. Alright. Is it going to be one reset? Because we already know that we're getting at least one. Is it going to be two to six? Just to make the, the ranges the same size. Seven to eleven? Or twelve plus? Watch this be watch this time be zero resets. Unfortunately, we we already got some mining experience on like our third rock, so rip that dream. But maybe we could get it in one. All right, uh, let me hold the torch just so we get a nice little crystal clear view of this one. Seven Eleven baby, and this is the best luck we've had in a, in a while since our like first endeavor in in luck based uh, mining strategies. So, uh oh, I hear, I see, I see bats getting ready to come in and swoop in from the sides. I think, I at least see the coloration of bats. Uh, no freebies. I was only half paying attention. No worries. song is such a banger. <laughs> I love it every time. I, I mentioned it. This is the one called from the Mother 3 soundtrack. I don't know if you can hear it that well. But it's called Natural Killer Cyborg. And I, I mentioned it on the stream last time and then I was like I after I mentioned it I had to go listen to it and immediately added it to, back to the to the soundtrack here for the stream. I freaking adore it. One and done is happening. I appreciate your exclamation point optimism. Alright, there is a freebie on this floor, which is unfortunate. We don't get any information about floor 37. In before floor 37 becomes the new floor 17. No, no one could ever live up to floor 17, I don't think. All right. What about this floor? Do we have a freebie? Not from what I can see. Which is admittedly only like half of the floor that I can see. But that's okay. Oh, perfect. All right. <laughs> that works out nicely. Hopefully we get that lucky in the, in the actual live run. 38-1. Show me a good floor 39, please. Good floor 39 layout. This is a cursed layout. I remember that. It's like a it's like a long floor. It's an extremely long floor. No freebies spotted. C'est la vie. Bread is defined as food made of flour, water, and yeast, or another le leavening agent mixed together and baked. That literally is a croissant. Flour, water, and yeast, or another leavening agent mixed together and baked in loaf form. I think is I think you're missing in loaf form. I think a bread has to be capable of being a loaf. I wouldn't I would not classify croissant as a loaf. It's like a it's a it's a moon. It's a moon loaf. It's I mean it's not a loaf at all, it's just a moon. I'll die on this hill. I'll I'll go to bat for croissants not being bread. Baguettes aren't loaves. Bag a baguette is a loaf. It's a it's a it's the general loaf shape. I 
I don't respect the bread that can't be made into a loaf, honestly. What about pretzels? Those can be loaf shaped. Not not all breads are loaves, not all loaves are breads. Like you can have a loaf of banana bread. I would still not say banana bread is a bread, even though it's in the name. Anyway, we're resetting. That's reset number one right there. What's the leavening agent in croissants? I'm assuming it's like yeast. Like it is in bread, but maybe it's maybe it's something else, I don't know. Water pie for good luck. <laughs> meat bread, meatloaf. <laughs> Case in point. I mean, there is bread in meatloaf, but the meatloaf itself is not bread. That was that's reset number one. That's not reset number two. That's reset number one. We were still on zero resets there. This one's for the one reset, gang. You would classify pretzels as bread. At least the German ones, not the crispy ones. I am I am more willing to accept pretzels as bread than I am to accept croissants as bread. Croissants? I wouldn't accept either of them as bread. Like, they'd both fail bread class, I think. But croissants, I, I think we get like an F. Pretzels getting like a D-. minus. Water pie, my favorite type of pie. Nice hydrating pie. Who doesn't like a good moist pie? Alright, chat. Going to little door of the explorer on this one. Can you see a freebie on this floor? Can you see a staircase? We'll zoom in a little. I don't see if I don't see a staircase. But what about on this one? Alright, there's there's our staircase from the previous floor. Is there a match here? No, there's those are not those are not uh knights moves away. There's not many rocks on this floor though, so maybe that bodes well, potentially. To be fair, so are filled donuts. Filled donuts are bread. Nah, not true. Mm, we'll try these ones, I guess. Oh, I thought there was a... I thought there was a staircase. I, I could have sworn my eyes are playing tricks on me already in the dark here. I'm so glad there's only ten floors of darkness. Do you think Concerned Ape wanted to make... Like, originally planned to make, like, more dark floors, but then he once he made these first ten, he realized how annoying they are <laughs> and just never made any more again? Like, imagine if, like, every last iteration of ten floors in like, each section of the mines. Like, what if, like, floor 70 to 80 and 110 to 120 were also dark, but with the added detriment of, like, the other stuff? Like, the hard, harder monsters and harder layouts and more diff and more hardier rocks and stuff? That is... That's my ultimate nightmare. Someone mod it in, please. Annabelle! Thank you very much for becoming a member at the Electron level. I greatly appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your, your newfangled sword and your emotes. Bread does not equal pastry. 100% true. Pastries and bread are two distinct categories, and a croissant is a pastry. Look at this spooky little bat over here. I love, I love the bats in their, like, dormant phase. They're just little ovals of darkness. All right. I do not see a freebie. About there's our staircase there. Doot, 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 doot. I don't, I don't think there's chests. There's knights moves there either. So I think we're just gonna have to try our luck here. Test your luck in this amazing mining mini game. Yo, Nock, thank you for being a member for eight months at the Neutron level. Hello, fellow believers. Did you vote for or for one reset? We're still on that one reset lifestyle. We got a ways to go, but it's still technically on the table. And I have I have a good feeling about it all of a sudden. Ooh. 
Give me 36-2, please. Now, floor 37, we got a freebie last time, which means we don't have any maps to compare against. So unless we get a freebie this time, we're, we're a bit hooped here. I'm going to tell you immediately, not a freebie in sight. I do not see that ladder going down, so... Wish me luck. Well, that, did, <laughs> that didn't last long. That dream died a swift and painless death. Maybe slightly painful. The golems? The golems are swarming? Help? Golems gotta be the most forgettable... Wait, is that a staircase? I thought, okay, it's a crate. I thought, I saw the little wood texture there, and I was like, no way, I missed the freebie. Thankfully, I didn't. That's a staircase, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I would have been so upset with myself if I found a freebie in the dark like that. that I would have, I would have quit the game. I would have alt f forward. Why is the top and bottom kind of cut off? Oh, do I have? I think I have it on the wrong uh, thing, the wrong scene. That's my bad. <laughs> That's my bad. I had a, I had a little. Thank you, thank you for noticing that, Benny. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't have it like that for too long. There was a little bit of a cropping issue there. My sincerest apologies. Yeah, I need to make sure I stay on top of that, uh, on top of which scene I'm on. Anyway, uh, let me have a look for freebies on this floor. Don't think I see any, so we just go ahead and start mining. Where does that meme come from? The one that's like, so anyway, I started blasting. I like it. I like it in principle, but I, I have no earthly idea where it originates from. Like most memes, honestly. That's a staircase. Unfortunately, it does not... Well, you know what? I'll take it. We just have to note that this one is a is a cursed ladder. But if we get any one any staircases that are knights moves away from thirty eight dash two, then we're we're solid. Maybe I'll I'll put a little put a little reminder for myself. This is a cursed staircase, so I'll take another screenshot to to demarcate that instead. But it could still provide us information in the future, so I'll I'll hold on to it. Danny DeVito. <laughs> so anyway, I started blast. This is that's that's not how Danny DeVito sounds, is it? So who's talking about me? I'm sorry, blasting. Sorry. A little bit of a case of mistaken identity. How many years have I been playing Stardew? I mean, I originally started playing when Stardew first came out. I haven't played necessarily consistently for that entire time, but I have played, uh... I have been playing since, like... Well, maybe not since, like, it first came out, because there is, like, like the original release had, a. Uh, you could have, like, different qualities of mines forgeables. Like, you could have, like, a silver star quality quartz or earth crystal or whatever. I never experienced that, so I must have been playing on an, at least, like, a patch later than that. But it was relatively early. It was early enough that, like, my no-level-up challenge was not in this version of Stardew. This is another cursed staircase. You hate to see it, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. Alright, 39-2. And we bring it home. Have a good one there, Golly. Take care. I get cranky over bread and pastry. <laughs> Respectable. Is bread and pastry going to become the new... Like, our... Our nuts, fruits, or whatever it was before? I don't even remember the argument I was trying to make. That's, that's how you know that I was really passionate about it. 
blasting is your alt account blasted? <laughs> blasted blasting? Do you also have blasts and just just blast itself? Different quality mind forge was kind of dumb. I think that's why I was taken out because like it took up so much space in people's inventories when they were mining. Like there's already a lot of stuff you're, you want to collect in the mines, especially on like a Skull Cavern run or something. Although I guess in Skull Cavern you don't really have to worry about the mine forgeables anyway. But still, I could see that being quite a nuisance. Turkeys or fat chickens? Never have I disagreed with a statement more. I mean, turkeys and chickens, they're both birds, but they're they are distinctly different birds. Chickens don't have the... the... the gizzard, whatever it is. The guzzler? The, the little the little red fat hanging from the, the beak. That's, that's enough of a difference to make turkeys their own distinct creation in my mind. The waddle? Is that what it's really called? The waddle? I always want to call it the gizzard. I always, I definitely thought it started with G, whatever it was. All right, let me bring this here. Let's see, so if, I don't see any freebies right off the dome. Doot, 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 doot. No, I don't think so, okay. What about 35-2? I think that one's a knight's move away right there, that, part, part, that bottom one of that two piece right there. I'm willing to give it a try. Also willing to quickly look for any freebies that may be hidden in the shadows. A gizzard is a bird's internal organ. Well, at least they had the bird part right. That is not a staircase. That is disappointment and sadness. It's okay. There's a staircase somewhere around here. What are we on? Are we on two, we're on two resets right now? We still got a ways to go. Well, make make that three resets, I think. Floor thirty five has not been kind. It's kind. I, haven't we every every attempt so far has failed on floor thirty five? <laughs> like we don't even get to get started. We don't even get excited about an attempt before floor thirty five just comes in and is like, yeah, no. <laughs> This is, this is never happening, kid. You're not making it to floor 40 without experience. You know what I say to that? I say, watch me. I say, who asked? Nobody asked you, floor 35. You think you're the... Just because you're like 2 times 17 plus 1, you think you can step to floor 17 like that? I don't think so. There's only one floor 17. And you're not even half the floor that it was. All right, no freebies, so I think we just just send it. Oh wait, there's a staircase here, isn't there? Oh no, for, wait, I thought. Oh, there's a staircase there. Well, just just as well, honestly. <laughs> we are all floor seventeen. Everyone does have a little bit of floor seventeen in them. I've always said that. I've always believed that to be true. The legacy of Floor 17 will be eternal. Alright. No staircases here. Gizzard, liver, heart, often used in stuffing recipes. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Maybe I should talk about bird internal organs more. It seems to be bring me bring me good luck. And who am I to... I mean, I'm not usually that superstitious by nature, but... Uh, can't argue with facts. You know, some people will, like, throw salt over their shoulder or whatever. Some people will, you know, hold on to that four-leaf clover. I'm just gonna start spouting off about gizzards. See what I mean? Instant gizzard luck. Thirty-eight dash three is this one. Perfect. I'm 
Gonna give me a little freebie? Probably not. Not that I even need one. I see a crate hidden in the darkness that that I mistook for a freebie for a second there. It's good because I actually don't want a freebie here now that I think about it. Does a straw have one hole or two? I believe a straw has one hole. Topographically speaking, I believe I believe it is a. Uh, if you were asked to ask like a topologist, I think all of them would agree a straw has a single hole, or maybe it has zero holes. I don't even. I don't remember. I don't remember. I watched. I watched the Vsauce video on like how many holes does the human body have, but I didn't fully internalize that part of it. I don't think. Thirty nine dash three. Need turkeys and stardew for gizzard percent? I'm with you. Bring in turkeys and bring back butchering? Actually, don't bring back butchering. I think it was a good I would think it was a good design design decision to to leave butchering out of Stardew Valley. Could have made for an interesting gameplay mechanic, but I think for the atmosphere of the game more fun that you can just, you know, tend to your farm animals, and you can you can always sell them if you want to. As just, like, livestock, but... It would be a little off-putting, for sure. How many holes do pants have? I would say pants have one hole. Unless you've been wearing them for several years, then they might have, like, two or three. Wait, maybe they only have one hole. I, I don't know. Uh, pants would be... Pants is a tough one, actually. Well, actually, did the, like, if if the pants have, like, belt loops, then they have many holes. They have, like, however many holes they have as they have belt loops plus one. Speaking of plus one, we're on... This, this is on three resets right now, I think. This is reset three that we're on. Plus one to the resets. All right. Looking for that freebie staircase, oh me, oh my. It's not a freebie, but it's about as close as we get to a freebie around here. That's that guy right there. Hopefully it's just a... Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. Love to see it. I think this is literally the farthest we've ever made it so far on this stretch of five floors without any experience. Like I said, floor 35 has not been kind so far. In topology, a balloon has negative one holes. I don't know if I can have this conversation right now. I'm too I'm too embroiled in staircase meta to start talking about topology, I think. Alright. Well, number one, let's check for... I see a crate there. I don't think I see any staircase freebies, though. Ooh, there's a spot right there. Okay, that could be the one. Let's go, let's go have a look-see. Have a little look-see. Whoops. Switch me. Wait, did it switch? It did switch. Okay, we're good. Uh, don't curse me. Also gonna go for this, this barrel. Sneaky bit of hardwood. Oh, come on. This has to be the run. Chat, last time we got hardwood in the mines, it was actually the run. There's, there's a, there's a real chance here. Hardwood is a sign of good luck. Good luck and good fortunes. Let's go. Floor 37. Don't fail me now. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now if you want to have a good time. Just give me a call. Don't stop me now. All right. No freebies. What's the luck today? It is maximum luck. It is star drop luck. That's a, that's a, that's a knight's move there, but that's also a three XP rock, unfortunately. And I don't think anything else helps us there. We have thirty seven dash two though. Do do do. Shoot. Maybe it maybe it traces all the way down there. Do you think? Do 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 do. 
I don't I don't think so. I don't think I don't think that rock is part of the chain. And that's all that's all the floor 37s that we got. All right. Argon in his Freddie Mercury era. era. <laughs> it's a great song. It's one that lives rent free in my head for sure. I'm going to go check that one rock just on the off chance that it is part of the same chain. Was it this one? It was, either, either way, it wasn't part of the chain, so now we know at least. Please. Hardwood luck. Bless me. Bless, blessed by the hardwood. It's true. Chat. Hardwood is good luck. If you if you need good luck in your Stardew Valley Mines delves, if you if you really need uh, that extra little bit of push, consider bringing your stack of hardwood with you. I'm just saying. 37-3, please. There's real science behind it. You're seeing it happen live in action right now. Okay. Floor 38. Do we see a freebie? There's so much darkness right here. But I don't think I see a freebie at all. Let's start comparing. Alright, so one right in front of the ladder. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot. Maybe there? Probably. I think it's. I think that's one tile too low still. Not gonna place all my bets on that one. Although maybe <laughs> it kind of looks like those both line up on part of the same same line there. And this one here. Dude, it it's all part of it's all part of the same line. It's meant to be. Wait, is that a cursed staircase though? Hold on. That's not a cursed staircase. This is the cursed staircase with the two the two torches. This one is this one's a go-getter. Am I a boy or a girl? In the in the game, I am playing as a girl. I identify as as a male myself. I am a he slash him. Please, my staircase, my staircase, floor thirty nine. It's the farthest we've ever made it, chat. This is on on reset three. There's a chance here. There's a real unadulterated chance. Floor forty. My blood is feeling just as electric as it did that very first time back in the No Level Up Challenge. We've learned so much, but we're, we're still here for the same reasons. We still need to get to Floor 40, Songs, Experience. Chat, there's a freebie! Can we get there? Can we get there, Experience Free? I don't know. There's so many rocks in the way. This is, this is a minefield, but there there's a freebie waiting for us at the end of the tunnel. There's a freebie waiting for us. Can we make it? Please. Don't don't give me that freebie. And then don't don't let it end like this, please. Okay. The hardwood luck is true. Give me just a straight path, a straight shot. We gotta take a chance here. We gotta take a chance. Chat, I'm leaving near hands. Do we go Oh wait, hold on. Can we I don't even know if we can go through that way. Like I was gonna say we could do do bottom path or we can do left path. But I don't think we can make it through there. I think we have to go left here. Okay, we're good. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this, this time we actually do have a choice. Chat, are we going left or right? Are we going left or right? Le left left or right? Left or right, just put, put L or R and we're breaking whichever rock and whichever, and we're hoping for the best. Left again, left again, left, right just in case, right, right. Right, right. L oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I don't know. It's like an even split. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm see I'm I'm feel I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of lefts. I'm seeing a lot of lefts. It's the, we've done it. Chat, you did it. That's floor 40. That one's on you, chat. You made it. To to the right believers, I apologize, but you, you may have been just as correct for all we know. Floor 40. Zero mining experience. Zero combat experience. Who would have ever thought we made it? We would make it here. Floor 40. Officially achieved. Look at this. Can we get a little celebratory hardwood out of it, you think? 
Just a little celebratory hardwood. We already have some, but all right. Let's not be greedy, I suppose. Let's, uh, although, although, what if we get just a little bit greedy, chat? Just a, just a, just a tad bit greedy? Give me a morsel of a free staircase. Okay. <laughs> I'm not willing to push it any further than that. Let's not, <laughs> let's not tempt fate here. Let me end the poll. 58% believed, two to six resets. Sunshine, I'm. I've seen. I've seen you. I've seen you typing that in chat. I'm not gonna say it because I don't know what it means, and I'm scared. <laughs> don't forget, you must save this day. We're saving this day. I, the hardwood luck, dude. It's real. It actually is real. The fact that we made it to floor forty on the very same run that we got that hardwood. I think there's something to that. I really, really do. I don't know if it'll work if we bring our own hardwood to the mines. I don't think that's... That might be cheating. We might have to get our... Uh, we might have to get get it naturally in the progression of the mines. Either way, we're one-third of the way there. Can you bring a chair with you to avoid mining rocks to get through? I have thought of that before. You actually can't place chairs inside the mines, unfortunately. At least not on the mines, like, floors themselves. In the, in the like, lobby, in the foyer of the mines, you can place chairs, but not in the actual, uh, floors. Oh! And a garbage hat day! Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the best day ever! Floor 40, celebratory garbage hat, celebratory hardwood. 19th of spring, remember this day. This is a blessed day. First hard, first, second hardwood, first garbage hat. Don't at me. The luck today, it is good. It's a star drop luck day too. Maybe there's more to that than we all realize. For now, since it's only one garbage hat, it's not going to take up that much space in our fridge. Um, don't be, don't be a fool. Let's let's get rid of this. It won't take up that much space in our fridge. But once we start getting multiples of hats, then we're probably going to need to invest in a dresser. <laughs> Do you mean the gizzard? The gizzard was what ultimately bring, brought us the luck, I think. It's, that's where it all started, was with the gizzard. I don't think I've ever seen a more wholesome stream than yours. Thank you, Ridley. I appreciate it. But that just means you haven't tuned in to all the other Stardew streamers. They're equally as wholesome, many of them. Shoutouts to, the, to, uh, to all my Stardew homies out there. All right, what are we selling today? We're selling a little bit of quartz and a little bit of torches because we don't need them anymore. Thank you, torches, for bringing us as far as you did, but uh, we are no long we no longer need it. Welcome back, Maggie. Happy to have you here. All right, I am going to switch back to the straw hat just because it feels more more natural. But the garbage hat collection has officially begun. Don't get it twisted. Argon streams are such a vibe. <laughs> Thank you. Wickedy streams are also a vibe. All, all the streams I tune into, all the Stardew streams, Wickedy, Sal, Algo, Leap, Charlie, all all the Stardew friends, they're all, uh, they all, they all got their own vibes, and they're all good vibes. Can I be a homie? Everyone here is a homie. Homie with an with just one no no e at the end though. Homie, can we get some homies in chat for for our dwarf dwarven friend that we're pursuing? Once you get a hold of the recycling machine, either from the bundle or crafting, do do many of the products help you? I can sell the torches safely. Yeah, I can sell the torches safely, but not uh, not too much else from the recycling machine. I don't think. Thank you to the homies. All right. Uh, I think we... Do we lock it in today, or do we take... I think... You know what? Let's take our chances. 
Let's take our chances on some hardwood farming. I don't know why I keep going this way to the mines. I'm pretty sure it's faster to go through the backwoods. That's what that's the way I usually go anyway, but... I've just been mixing it up. I'm just a little quirky like that. Taking a break from art? Welcome in, cat. You just you've been lurking or are you just uh just arriving? I get some sevens from my lurkers. We appreciate you. If you were quietly celebrating the uh the floor forty victory on your own. We were we were all celebrating together, whether you're posting in chat or not, you're part of the lifeblood of the stream and I appreciate you. Who do we got today? We got 33 Samson, Afraid of Space 98, Sunshine, AP AP Girl, or is that AP Geary? I'm sorry, my font is too small. <laughs> we got Leia. Purple is seven-ish. She's she she's a runner. She's a track star. Seven. Daniel McLaughlin with the double sevens. Goat. Oh, you know. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. I'm gonna keep reading Lurkers for a second though. Cast with the 3.5. Not lurking for once, knock. I see you. Appreciate you as well. Llama. Hafer with the seven. What is going on? Are you lurking? I'll take it. Luna or Bescapades. Javalili, Essie, Aru's B. Five. Nico's a five today. Charlo J is also a five. You know what? Five is new meta. Some people are saying some people are 3.5s. It's there's the rare five thrown in there as well, though. Anyone feeling like a one? Couldn't lurk if I tried. You know what? Fair. Former lurker here. Welcome in, Annabelle. All right. Um, something I just realized. I don't think I should farm hardwood on floor forty-one, and I'll tell you exactly why. I'm maybe we'll. I'm, I'm here anyway. I'm going to try and farm a little bit on floor twenty. I think the reason I don't want to farm on floor forty-one is. That on floor 41, dust sprites can spawn. And you know what happens when dust sprites spawn? They have a chance to break rocks. when they Because they'll try to like get towards you, and if a rock is in their way, they have a chance to break it. And if they do break it... We're just going to toss, toss the rusty sword, by the way. If they do break it, then you uh, gain the experience if the rock that they broke contained something that was experience-worthy. It doesn't make any sense... I'm not claiming that it makes sense, but it's just how the how the game works. <laughs> uh, I'm a little scared to hit a monster here. So I don't think we I don't think we can take that chance. I think if we get to like a later floor, like I don't know if any floors in like the 80s are worth uh are worth hardwood grinding, but uh, I think floor 40 is too risky. I think we'll stick to st stick to the floor 21 grind for now. That it is very dumb. It's so silly, but it is just how the game works. Pick up the torches and sell them? I really should. They are worth five apiece. I should also, um... Instead of bringing a sword or anything for hardwood grinds to break these, I should bring the scythe. That way, like, if I accidentally hit a monster, I'm not as likely to kill it, I guess. Oh, what the heck, man? I mean, these bugs, they're going to die in one hit to anything, but the grubs, I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally, like, one-shot them either. Gotta be careful with that. XP more, comes more from the item dropped than the rock, yeah. Oops, wrong place. You think it's worth it, but not today when we just got down five floors? I don't think it's worth it on, on any day, realistically. Even if we didn't make any progress, even if we're just doing, like, a hardwood farming day, it's... I don't think it's worth the risk, because if we get hardwood, or even if we don't get hardwood and we just get experience, we have to reset that day no matter what, which would be very demoralizing. I think sticking to floor 20, even if it's lower hardwood rates, is, is safer and healthier for the challenge as a whole. worth it if it's all you're doing that day you've gotten like eight hardwood that way maybe we'll give it a try is isabel if you're if you're preaching it that hard i'm willing to at least give it give it a whirl on a day where we don't where we haven't made any progress maybe if we had like a bad luck day coming up soon then we'll we'll try a little floor 40 but uh it does scare me admittedly 
Why do we need hardwood? We need 10 hardwood right now to complete the construction bundle. It's the most, uh, most accessible bundle that we can currently complete. You've done it and the resets are actually quite rare. I mean, it is a rare circumstance to run into, probably, that dust sprites will spawn and happen to break a rock that contains a an ore or a coal or something like that. I suppose the circumstances do have to align pretty neatly for that to actually happen, but the fact that it can happen at all is def definitely puts me off. And when when how can you argue with results like this? <laughs> how can you argue with results like this? Like maybe this is. Maybe this is destined to be our hardwood floor. Maybe it's destined to be our hardwood floor! Chat, I don't know, the game's trying to tell me something, I think. I think this game is trying to tell me something right now. I think Floor 21 is calling my name. And I think I'm here to answer the call. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 28. Just leave the floor if there are a lot of dust sprites. That's probably that's probably a valid tactic, yeah. What if we just get all the all the hardwood that we need like today, though? What if we just got the the rest of it? We're up to four hardwood total, including the stuff that we have back at home. All we we just need to get six more hardwood. I think is doable. I think this is hardwood right here. I thought it was going to be, because it looked like it was on the same spot as the previous one. I will take the amethyst, though. Probably over the fiber. I can't sell the fiber. I can at least sell the torches. Speaking of. Yeet. I gotta be very careful not to break a rock by mistake. That was a sinister laugh. I felt like being a little sinister. Sometimes I feel a little, a little devil emoji burbling up inside of me. And you just gotta, you gotta indulge that little devil emoji sometimes. Just be a little bit sneaky. <laughs> Gremlin vibes. I identify a little bit as a gremlin, I think. You need to make a silly noise. I can't just make a silly noise on demand like that is the problem. I can't just be like, you know, like make a silly noise and then I go, Ugh. maybe I, I mean, maybe I can, I don't know. Was that silly enough? I don't feel like it was silly enough. I feel like it was a little too try hard for, for a silly noise. <laughs> it was pretty silly. All right, I'll take it. We take those W's. I saw that crate and barrel. I just, I was, I misclicked to be honest with you in that menu. <laughs> I jump scared. What are you doing? I'm mining hardwood. What are you doing? Hardwood, hardwood. It's hard, hardwood right here. That's just regular wood. Don't make me laugh. Ooh. Torch farming strat low-key going hard. 14 torches is nothing to sneeze at, I'm telling you. I think people sleep on the torch farming method. I think it could be the new speedrunner meta. Forget clay farming, we're, we're torch farming these days. It's not as consistent, unfortunately. You don't always get torches on, on 420 or anything like that, but when you do, oh baby. Oh baby, a triple! You, you think you identify as a gremlin, mister? It has to come up orange now, right? That's just the odds. I don't know what you're talking about, Cass. That is just how probability works. Run it through with me. Tell me how it doesn't make sense. If you spin... If you spin the wheel at the Stardew Valley Fair three times, and those three times it turns up orange... It turns up green, 
the next time you spin it, it should turn up orange because there's a because every one in four attempts should be orange because it's a 25% chance. That's just math. It's just basic math. I do like your name, Sunshine. Sunshine Pelletier. Is that how you pronounce that? A little, little French Frenchness on it? That's just, it's just basic probability. I don't understand why everyone makes fun of me when I say it. Ooh, little torch. That's not math. It's literally math. 25%. One in four. If you roll three greens, you're going to get an orange next. You should bet orange. Why is that not math? I think he knows. I know the truth. I'm spouting the truth right now. This proves he's a gremlin. What are you talking about? Can we all agree? Okay, can we all agree on this much? If you spin the wheel four times, you should expect one of those spins to land orange. Is that true? Can we get a thumbs up if that's true, a thumbs down if that's not true? We, we got to at least all get on the same page there. If you spin the wheel four times and it's the 25% chance for it to be orange, one of those four is going to be orange. Is that correct? Yes, yes. One in four starts over each spin. I don't know about that. Expect, expect yes, guaranteed no. Okay. But, I mean, I, I'm with you, it's not a guarantee, but... If you spin it the first three times and it turns up green all three of those times, there's a higher probability that it's going to be orange the next time because it's orange one time out of four. We all agreed it's going to be orange in one of those four spins. So the fourth spin, if the first three were green, the fourth one's prop is going to be orange. It's just it's just math, chat. I don't know how you aren't getting this. No, no. That's the gambler's fallacy. The what now? I didn't sell anything that I shouldn't have, did I? I guess we'll find out tomorrow. I think we're good. Quartz, amethyst, torches, we're good. I'm gonna hurt someone with your math grade. Is and might be are two different things. Chat, what are the odds of winning the lottery? To say the odds of winning the lottery are uh, are 1 in 10 million. Is that if I buy 10 million tickets, I'm probably going to I'm going to win the lottery, is that right? That's it's just that's just it's just facts. No. Why not? It's one in 10 million. If I buy 10 million tickets, I'm one of those tickets should win. Wasn't that a Mr. Beast video? I think you're actually correct on that. <laughs> Not if you buy 10 million with the same number. Wait, if you buy 10 million with the same number and that number wins, do you get 10 million times the jackpot? Infinite money strategy? <laughs> Infinite money glitch unlocked? Is that how the lottery works? Can you tell I don't play the lottery? <laughs> All right, quick hydration break before I make too many more people mad. All right, this is... Oh, oh, chat, look at this. This is rare. The spirits feel absolutely neutral today. This is, this is a very... This is the rarest luck condition, I think, right? This is absolute neutral. That's extre that's extremely rare. The, even, even the game literally says this is rare. Is it 0, 0.00 luck modifier? Holy. I love that. I don't, I feel like I've never seen this in game. There's your omen. <laughs> that's wild. I love that. All right, Saturday. Is anything special about Saturday? Don't think so. 
We'll take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch out my sword for the scythe, and we will try. We'll try. We'll try this floor forty strategy. Worst comes to worst, a dust sprite uh, goes in goes insane o mode, and am I allowed to say that? <laughs> and uh, and destroys a rock. And then we just have to reset the day. But I'm willing to see what these hardwood rates are like on floor 41. We'll give it a test today on, on, on a true neutral day. True neutral is it's the rarest form of luck. So obviously it must be the luckiest day. What is the gritty? The gritty is a dance. <laughs> if I if I acknowledge the gritty, can we can we stop talking about it? Because I don't know what it is and I'm scared. <laughs> it has been acknowledged. OMG, it's a slideshow. Are we dro are, hold on? Are we dropping frames? Are we good? I got no frames dropped on my end. Is it one of those TikTok dances? I'm not familiar. I've never been on TikTok before in my life. This is the same logic that says if a one in a million chance happens nine times out of ten. Now that's just that's just silly. It's a point zero zero two percent chance to hit neutral luck there. You must get it once every five hundred days. That seems more common than I would think, actually. I must have had some true neutral luck days in, in the past, then. Football? Like the gridiron? Is that where the gritty comes from? I guess that makes sense. Nomenclaturally. Alright. No! No! <laughs> I hear the dust sprites. The squeaking of the dust sprites. That's what we gotta listen for. We gotta... Chat. No! Oh, it's only two dust sprites in there around. Are they guarding the hardwood? They might be guarding the hardwood. I'm scared. They're not guarding the hardwood. Get out. Get out while you still can. There's another There's another barrel down there. Oh, gosh. I'm scared. Is this the heightened tension we need from, from hardwood grinding? It might be. Wonder how many people have gotten true neutral but didn't realize it because they didn't look at the TV screen or that they only looked at the TV screen and not the text. That's actually a, that's a good point. I do often just look at the TV screen, honestly. I don't think I've ever done crate and barrel farming on floors that are like later in the mines like this, specifically for the reason that I that I noted earlier, because the dust sprites scare me. So I'm curious to see, like, how much better the loot can be from these ones. I'm so used to floor 21 loot, I'm going to be spoiled by floor 41 loot. We can also get jades here now, actually, so I can start stockpiling jades while I'm doing this hardwood grind. Also, the aquamarine is good for the die bundle. Wrong floor, my bad. Force of habit, just a little, just a little muscle memory. A little muscle memory we got to break through. Uh, that's a lot of dust sprites, holy... Are you still doing good? Still st still sticking at zero experience? Yeah, I just gotta... I really just gotta watch for lots of dust sprites. Alright, su Sunshine, I'm gonna get you to stop uh, stop spamming, please. This is this is your warning. Please do not spam any further, otherwise you will be uh, you will be timed out. Oh gosh, they broke the rocks. They're breaking the rocks. I'm, I'm, I'm too, I'm too lost. I'm too lost in my chat to, <laughs> to be paying attention to the dust sprites. There we go. Nice, nice quiet floor here. We also got lots of crates and barrels. Don't these crystals also have a chance to drop refined quartz? 
like a very a very slim chance. That's that's not a bad way to go about getting it. No worries, sunshine. It's just we gotta we we do have chat rules, and not spamming is is one of them. So appreciate it. I know you're new here, so it's all good. They can. Is it only a certain type of crystal that can do it, or like are there like are there special crystals? I've never gone crystal farming before. Finished working on your thesis for today? Yo, hype. You can just relax a bit with the stream and maybe search for a geo farming spot of your own. No worries, Saphir. I'm happy to help in whatever way I can. Best of luck with your geode farming. I'll have to do a little bit of that myself off stream. Hold on, I'm looking for a freebie floor. If we get like a really lucky string of freebies, we could just get to floor 45 in one go. That'd be pretty cool. Empty crates make me sad. Me too. It's like taking your... It's like seeing an empty crate, it's like taking your... Uh, it's like your mom packed you a, a lunch for, for school and you just get take the brown bag off the counter. You don't have any inclination of what's inside of it. You take it and you're anticipating that she packed your favorite. Maybe you got like a peanut butter and banana sandwich in there. A little like fruit cup, like a cup of applesauce or whatever. You look at, you're so looking forward to it. You go and open it up when it comes to lunchtime. And the smile slowly drains from your face as you look in and see a half-eaten apple. With a little like browning from the oxidation. And that's all you get. With a little note little note from your mom on the inside says Happy April Fool's Day. And then you just go hungry. That's how that's how I feel when, when the crate is empty in the mines. I know it's a very robust metaphor. I hope you like it. Tomorrow is Homestuck Day. Homestuck is a comic, right? It's like a webcomic. Are they I didn't know they were still making Homestuck. I thought that was a, a relic of, like, the, the mid-2000s. Are you okay, Arkham? Do you want to talk about it? No, my mom always packed great lunches for me. We never had the brown paper bag, though. I always It always got packed in just plastic bags, which I recycled, just in case you were wondering. The single-use plastic bags. They are not still making Homestuck, sort of. I have more questions than answers. <laughs> I gotta admit, even from just like a like a vibe standpoint, I kind of do like Floor 41 better than Floor 21. It's so much brighter. Like I'm so used to the to the doldrums of the brown shades at Floor 21. The nice blues and whites of, of floor 41. I can get behind it. This is a good this is a good hardwood floor. Until the inevitable moment where the dust sprites do get the better of me and then I I cry. <laughs> I will just cry all day. I'll, it'll be like the day when I finally get some hardwood. I'll be like, yo chat, we've got like three hardwood already today. Let's go for a little more. And then the dust sprites come in and just break a piece of iron ore in my face. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Where's the torch farming on floor 41? Something tells me torches are not that prevalent on floor 41. There is a chance for some refined quartz farming. Not that we can sell refined quartz, but we do need it for the slime hutch. I'm vibing, dude. Sometimes, you know, I try I try to keep the conversation going in stream most of the time. Then sometimes you have got nothing to say and you just start vibing out and you forget you're streaming. Anyone ever been there or just me? You just enjoy the vibes around here sometimes. Ooh, a little frozen geode. Don't mind if I do. 
I will take this. What do I take it over? I don't really need the copper ore right now, to be honest with you. It's not like I can sell it. And I can always just buy a bunch from Clint anyway. That's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to dip out of here. Should we name our the emotional support bunny? I'm, I'm down to take name suggestions for our emotional support rabbit. Our friend. I will take... What will I take? For, do I want to take this frozen tear over the stone? Probably, honestly. Stone is pretty easy to get. Bubbles? Bubbles is a good name. Makes me think of the power the Powerpuff Girls every single time. Sapphire, Jeremy, Alfred. You're a Therabus. <laughs> that's a great title. <laughs> I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the name we're gonna stick with, but it is a it does make me chuckle. Buttercup. Lizzie. I feel like I'll know it when I see it. These are all great name suggestions, don't get me wrong, but none of them have hit me quite yet. I hear dust sprites. I'm out of, I'm out of here. Or <laughs> just name him Harvey. Name him after the doctor. But we've never met Harvey in, in this game. Beatrix doesn't know who Harvey is. So she'd name him Harvey. And then she meets Harvey and be like, well, this is awkward. Especially if she meets Harvey for the first time when she, like, passes out in the mines or something like that. She thinks she's having a fever dream. She's imagining her her therabist as a as an actual person. Fiona, Tim Beeb, Marshmallow, Freebie. Fiona, Craig, Greg 2.0, Gangsta Fluff. Brenda. Benjamin, Greg, Colette. There's too many names. It's an overabundance of names. When I look at you, I'm looking deep into your eyes. What? Who are you? Who are you? What is your name? Your name. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes, and I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look into this this bunny's eyes. And the first name that comes to mind is is Gertrude. <laughs> what? Is, why is the name Gertrude the first one that comes to mind? Oh well. All right, you're Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude name no one's ever thought of in 800 years Gertrude alright perfect I need to I need to zoom back out or else I'm going to get vertigo again alright Gertie <laughs> never let this man name a baby what do you mean Gertrude's a great name Gertrude. When was the, when was Gertrude a popular name? Gertrude the Therabus. Just gotta get some get her some glasses. Rude when you don't like the advice. I don't know. I I mean I think I what I did there is you know, I took all of the names that chat was suggesting into my brain, and I put them together in like a little name blender in my brain. And then I I soul read Gertrude, and that was the name that came out. So I think it was it's an amalgamation of the spirit of all the names that were that were given to me in chat. That's my justification for for ignoring all the suggestions, anyway. I mean, uh, not ignoring all the suggestions, taking them into thoughtful consideration, and finding the perfect mathematical balance. All right, get me out of here before these dust sprites make me upset. If we could put hats on the rabbit. Someone mod it in right now, please.
even if this isn't heightened hardwood rates on floor 41, this should be more money because we get like uh, things like frozen geodes, aquamarines, frozen tears that are by necessity, by by definition, more valuable. Ooh, give me away. Than uh, than the stuff on floor 20. The freebies on floor 41 also go kind of hard. You spat your drink all over your trousers? Oh no, intensive porpoise. Hopefully it wasn't like, hopefully you're not wearing like white pants and you're drinking red wine. That would just be an unfortunate coincidence. If we find some geode spots especially, that would be, that would be the next step of this plan. Although mining for geodes in this section of the mines, like each rock is going to take, what, three hits in this section with our basic pickaxe? Is it three or is it two at this point? I honestly couldn't tell you. Might actually take my advice. Enjoy, enjoy your nap, Atlas, if you do take that advice. I honestly think it's for the best. I think you'll I think you'll thank yourself in the future if you take a nap and then and then study afterwards. Just my two cents, but do what feels right to you. Four out of four are empty? You give me four barrels on one floor and not a single morsel of even like a mixed seed? Rude. Ooh. Is catching each fish a different task than getting level 10 fishing? It is, which does open the possibility for you to get Pickle Jar Rag, but also opens the possibility for there to be, um, like a string of fishing tasks that give you a fishing level. Which would be unfortunate, but it's just kind of like, there's not, there's not a clean and easy way around it. So I just kind of, you know, accepted it as part of the, the nature of the challenge, part of the fabric. Does luck affect crates? I don't know. I want to say no. I think the crates, what they're, what's in the crates, is dependent upon the seed. But I also think it changes a bit from day to day. I think there's like a pattern that it follows. Have I played The Sims? I played The Sims 2 quite a bit when I was younger. Played it on the GameCube with my sister. It was a good time. I haven't played, like, recent incarnations of The Sims, though. I know they're, like, The Sims 4 is is the hotness, right? The Sims 4... How many DLCs does The Sims 4 have? Isn't it, like, 8,000? What's the game with the most DLC content in the world currently? It. I feel like The Sims 4, just based on internet osmosis and the knowledge that I have of it, it might be a contender. There's probably some game out there that's like actually ridiculous with with DLC, but but I feel like Sims 4 is probably like at least it's at least like the top percentile for like mainstream games. Train Simulator, <laughs> the DLC for each different type of train, the Caboose DLC now only three hundred dollars. It would cost like fourteen hundred Canadian dollars to buy all the Sims 4 DLC. Oh man. Alright, don't don't I don't want the dust sprites to disappoint me now. <laughs> At the very tail end of the day here. Played Sim City and Sim Ant on the Mac back in the 90s. Now there's a throwback. Sim Ant. I've heard of that game. What do you do in it? Do you use play as an is is it like a, is it what it sounds like? You simulate an ant colony? I kinda love that. No hardwood today. It's to be expected. The default expectation for hardwood farming should be no hardwood. The fact that we got two yesterday is 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 pretty wild. What the, so there's so many supply crates over there. It's okay, we'll catch them on uh on debris day probably or either t or tomorrow possibly. My inventory's a little too full right now. All right, I will I'm just going to I think I'm going to sell everything honestly. Maybe I'll save one aquamarine. Nah, we'll just, we'll sell it all. I know I know I need them for community center stuff in the future. Well, okay, we'll save one aquamarine frozen geode. I am gonna sell even if I do need it for the community center. That's fine. 
Field Snack I can sell. Quartz I can sell. Green Algae I can sell. Yes. And the rest were good. There's a video by this guy on YouTube. You think his name is Mickey D and he bought all the Sims 4 DLC? He can't be the only one, right? There's got to be some diehard Sims 4 fans out there. Paint drying simulator? I'm here for it, honestly. New DLC for each type of paint. Alright, go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. Why am I donating, donating artifacts but not minerals? Uh, mostly because the minerals right now, I'm just, the ones that I'm collecting anyway, I will donate them eventually, but right now I want the money more than anything. Every little bit of money does help, and the minerals sell for a decent amount, whereas the artifacts are, are more beneficial as donations right now, but there's no, uh, no restriction against donating minerals. The bad luck day. Bad luck Brian. Rears his ugly head. And, uh... We got Queen of Sauce. Tomorrow will be Debris Day. I will, I'll go get those... Let me go get those supply crates. I'm, I'm very excited. We could get a bomb out of one of them. Which would be Dwarf Axis. A little bit of sugar. Aw, oh, honey, honey. What is all this? Look at all these forgeables, dude. <laughs> oh, the... The temptation to pick just even one of them up is so strong right now. How did Concern Day make forgeables so pick upable? Like, you just look at it and you're like, I want to pick that up. Alright. Sell the sugar, sell the oil. Make sure I haven't botched my collection at all. Water my cat. Hello, pie. And we're off. Can I play music? Is th th There is music playing. This song right now is pretty quiet, I think, but there's been music playing the whole time. What's the biggest mistake you made in Stardew? Um, biggest mistake I made in Stardew was calling the... calling the Price of Perfection finale and then having to sleep for 15 hours of real life time in order to actually get to the end of the challenge. I really didn't think it would take that long, but uh, that's just luck of the draw, unfortunately. Nautilus shell grabby hands. Nautilus shell is an insta grab for sure. Most of the time, anyway. The farm is already starting to look more tree-y, or is that my imagination? We can we can check. We we have the power to check this to see if the trees are are spreading at a rapid rate. Copper axe, copper axe. I mean, you know, <laughs> it wasn't a mistake at the time. Is the thing? It was uh, it was just the way we were doing business. But it ultimately did end up being a mistake. All right. This is the current state of... Well, this No, this is not the current state of our farm. This is the state of our farm as it was on day one. And we can start looking. Sh tell, tell me if you think there's trees spawning. I don't see any new trees yet, I don't think. Wait, d uh, there might have been one right there. No. No, no. no new trees yet. That's our house upgrade day right there. You can see that. And this is the current day. This is this is this is day 21 right now. I don't think there's any new trees. I think I think it's the same amu amount of trees. There's definitely more stones. There's 100% more stones, but What mod is this? This is the daily screenshot mod that lets I mean you can just do this on your own anyway if you have the wherewithal, but this one automatically takes the screenshot every day. Thanks to Wickety for sharing that with me. And, and Benny, I believe, also dropped a link to in the Discord. So, shoutouts to both of them. The screenshots don't have rain on them. There was, like... There's, like, been two rainy days in all of spring. I think... May, may, wait, did I, check, did I set, change the settings to make it so it didn't take pictures on rainy days? 
because I don't want that. I wanted to take pictures on rainy days as well. Let me double check, because I thought there were some rainy day spring shots in there. Did I say spring shots? Yeah, there's a few, there's a few stream, uh, there's a few rainy days. There's three rainy days. It's just been a long stretch of sunny days, so. Good evening, Zeta. Ooh, I'm going for that artifact spot. Never turn down an artifact spot. You never know when you're going to get a nice little chip damn four out of it. Got to call your shots sometimes. Guess my eyes are just slow then. No worries. Yeah, there were only like three rainy days so far, and they were all earlier in the season. So like, but there was a good stretch at the end there of screenshots that just didn't have rain at all. How goes the befriending? We haven't even met the dwarf yet, but uh, progress is being made. Right now we're hardwood farming because we need to complete the construction bundle in order to make progress in the community center. So if we're so on days where we don't make progress in the mines, we're resetting floor forty-one and hoping for the best. Oop, this is the wrong floor. <laughs> Went to the wrong floor and then just immediately glanced at chat. So I didn't even didn't even realize. Ooh, first piece of iron ore. Not that I can do anything with it. Favorite color? It's been flip-flopping lately. I, I I think still my favorite colors are... are purple and green, but not necessarily together. I feel like purple and green together most of the time... Oh my gosh, is pretty gaudy. But, uh... Purple and green on their own? Top tier choices, in my opinion. A therapist, Gertrude. Gertrude's doing doing the work here. Sometimes you just need that. Uh, you just need a little bit of companionship. And until we have access to the dwarf, our very first friend. Well, I mean, we do have we do have Pi as well for companionship. But out here in the mines, Pi can't can't join us. Imagine you could take your pets for like walks in Stardew Valley. That would be so fun. I'm not going. I'm not risking the dust sprites there. Purple and green are your dad's favorite colors too. I also I do also really like pink. I really like yellow. It might be easier for me to name the colors that I don't like. Let me think. What colors don't I like? There you go. I've listed all the colors that I don't like. Let me know if you disagree. I think colors are very context dependent. Like, even the color that you like the least is is going to be a great color, possibly the only correct color in a given situation. Uh, let's not risk that. You don't like yellow? Can you apologize? Apologize to Beatrix, please. It's her favorite color, as you can see by her shirt. She wears it very prominently. You don't have to like yellow, but I mean, I just want—I just want to make sure that you're not—it's not a diss on on our girl here, because it, it will not be tolerated. Ooh. Sorry, Beatrix. All right, apology accepted. You don't like puce specifically for the name. What color is puce? What what is puce a shade of? I can I can feel you on the name for sure. It sounds a little too close to, like, Uke. But what is the... What's the actual, like, color shade of it? I want to say it's, like, a shade of green. But that is really just, you know... What I feel deep in my soul. It could be entirely wrong. So I always said that your favorite color is green, but you don't know if that's true. You pick green because everyone seems to have a favorite color, so I figured I might as well, too. It's possible you just don't have a favorite color. Maybe you just, like, 
feel neutral towards all colors in general, or maybe you like all colors, or, or dislike all colors. Ooh, a little spa music, don't mind if I do. Puce is like a purple-brown color. Closer to pink slash maroon. Sounds kind of pretty, not gonna lie. Puce is off pink. Bit of a brownish purple. Interesting. Well, let me. I need. I need. I need to clear. So I'm getting some conflicting data in chat. Puce. Let me just Google it. Puce. It's kind of like. Uh, wait. There's two different shades of puce. Puce is dark red or purple brown color. A brownish purple or dark reddish brown. But it's giving me two different shades. There's like a. There's like an, on, an off pink, and like a purplish brown. Chat. Both. Both. Both people in chat are right. Both both versions of Puce are also Puce. What the heck? I kind of like it, honestly. Both shades of it, it, they remind me of Neapolitan ice cream. And Neapolitan is composed of some of the best flavors of ice cream. We've been down this road before, but Neapolitan itself, take it or leave it, but the, the flavors that comprises it are goaded, for sure. Your favorite color is 100% black? Fair enough. Black definitely has its place. And of course, you'll get the people who say, like, black isn't a color. But black is a color. Like, come on. Ooh, a little iron edge. Is that, is that worth keeping with the minus two speed? Is that better than our steel small sword? We'll bring it home, just to just for comparison's sake, but... Strawberry ice cream is awful. You, you take that back right now. Of the three Neapolitan flavors, my tier list goes... Strawberry, vanilla, chocolate. Strawberry, strawberry is number one. Although strawberry and vanilla are very close, chocolate is kind of a distant third, honestly. Please don't give me artificial strawberry. Maybe I haven't had artificial strawberry ice cream. Although I guess in Neapolitan it would be it would be artificial strawberry, so maybe it's not as good. But I've had I, like if you have the strawberry ice cream that has like real strawberry in it, like real strawberry chunks and stuff, that's like some of the best. Yeah, strawberry flavor is amazing. I'm, st I'm mean, you, you say don't give me strawberry flavoring or artificial strawberries. I say that like artificial strawberry is one of the better artificial flavors. I'm sick and tired of people stigmatizing artificial fruit flavors when the, they might not, you know, equate a one to one with the fruit that they're trying to replicate. But sometimes the flavor on its own is still is like just good anyway. Like, artificial banana flavoring is, is a quintessential example. I would not say, I would not make the argument that artificial bananas taste like, ban or that, like, artificial banana flavored candy tastes anything like the bananas of the modern day. But it still tastes good. It still tastes good. And I feel like people who say that it doesn't taste good just are just comparing it too much to banana. They're like expecting it to taste like banana, and because it doesn't taste like banana, they they immediately say that it's not a good flavor. You gotta you gotta weigh that flavor on its own merits. I've stood on the sidelines for too long. Someone's gotta stand up for the artificial fruit flavors. Artificial cherry is good most of the time, 100 percent Artificial banana is awful. If you truly believe that, if you, if you, Charo J, if you actually di dislike the flavor of artificial banana based on the flavor profile itself and not, it's, and not the comparison to natural banana flavor, then fair play. But if it's only based on the comparison, then I got a bone to pick. Or else they just don't like it. If you just don't like the flavor, that's, that's totally fine. I just think that there is a higher than normal chance that if you just dis dislike a an artificial fruit flavor, you gotta reflect and 
ask yourself, do I really dislike the flavor, or do I dislike the fact that it doesn't taste like what it's advertised to be? You like artificial watermelon? Me too. I can't think of an artificial fruit flavor that I don't like. Well, artificial orange is a little sus. I feel like artificial orange they could do some better work on. They don't taste any, like anything to me. Many artificial flavors don't register in your mouth for some reason. Yo, we got B-Boss music again. That is, that's interesting, Lisa. I've never heard that before. That they just like don't register the flavors. I can see that being off-putting in its own right for sure. Okay, but orange soda? Orange soda could probably be an exception. But have you ever had those like uh, little like orange candy slices? Oh, hold on. There's a... I should grab that frozen tier. Those like orange candy slices that have like sugar, like a sugar coating around them, and you bite into them, and then, ooh, ooh, don't break the, don't make, don't break the rocks, don't break the rocks, please. Like you bite into them, and they're like, uh, like they feel like they look like they should be gummy, but then they just like, uh, like you're, they're more like syrupy than gummy. You know, you know the ones that I'm talking about. Those are upsetting to me every time. I don't like those. How is artificial orange sus? I will concede orange soda flavor is fine. Artificial orange candy flavor? There's a reason they don't do it. You don't mind the orange candy slices? There are definitely some weird artificial orange flavors, though. It's, it's, it's the worst of all artificial fruit flavors, IMO. What is this floor? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten rocks in here and a crystal. That for <laughs> that's that's wild. I don't think I've ever seen a floor quite that barren. Artificial orange is actually the best. What are you guys talking about? It's like you're completely forgetting artificial cherry exists. Lemon flavored things are just way too sweet most of the time. I think you're just trying having the wrong. I mean, I think. I think artificial lemon probably runs the gamut for like the most broad, distinct flavors. Like you can have really sweet artificial lemon, but you can also have really sour artificial lemon. You like watermelon flavored, like the little, little fake watermelon slices. Those are always good. Artificial cherry is bad. I don't. I just don't even know what to say to that. Sour Cherry Blasters are, like, top top three candies of all time. And it is almost entirely on the back of the flavor. They're also bolstered by the fact that they're gummy and that they're sour. Which I will, you know, I'll, I'll admit that, you know, not sour candies are not for everybody. But there's a reason they make so many of them. Because they're for, like, a lot of people. And I am one of those people. Although if you eat too many sour candies, then like it destroys the roof of your mouth and your tongue and your st and stuff. So it's like, wouldn't recommend that so much, but in moderation is good. Another Iron Edge, by the way. Artificial Melon is amazing. I don't think, I, I ha wait, I have had Artificial Melon and I think you're right. The The one iteration of Artificial Melon I've had is is pretty solid. I'll have your orange candies, by all means. Wait, except orange Skittles. Hold on, I'm running it back in my brain. Orange Skittles are, are one of the better Skittle flavors. Are orange Skittles artificial orange flavor, though, or are they just orange Skittle flavor? Um, okay, do I want cave carrots over any of this stuff? I'll take it over the stone. Chat, orange Skittles don't count as artificial orange. They're, they're a separate entity. You know what can legit wreck your mouth? It's fresh pineapple. Oh, so true. I've made that mistake like once. They are natural Skittle flavor. I mean, all Skittles have a distinct flavor. Wait, I think I think by definition, orange Skittles have. Ooh, double hardwood. 
Hold on, hold the skittle train. Uh, honestly, get rid of the iron ore. Double hardwood. That is, I mean, that's that's one hardwood a day so far from this uh, grinding floor 41 here. That's good. Those are the dopamine hits we we live for around here in this challenge. How many do we need? We're about to get two more. I'll, t I'll tell you after that. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was going to be the same same tile. If it, if it is the same tile on the same day, I'm pretty sure it, it is the same drop every time. That's how we got two iron edges before. Um, I think we, we need ten total. I think we're up to six with these two. One hardwood a day keeps the doctor away. One hardwood a day keeps the void spirits at bay. I don't know what that means, but you can read into it whatever you want. Favorite Starburst flavor? Cherry. Easy pick. And if and I'll be honest with you, I'll take it a step further. If we're ranking Starburst flavors, like on the echelon of all candy flavors, um, Starburst Cherry Starburst is S tier flavor. Every other Starburst flavor, B. They don't compare. They don't. They don't stand up to scrutiny. I will eat only the cherry flavors, and you can have the rest. Welcome back from the lab, Emmy. How'd it go? Honestly, agreed. Finally, something we can agree on. Heck yeah. Struggling to draw Stardew furniture and Beatrix. I agree 100%. Pink Starbursts are the best. Pink Starbursts are unironically the worst. You you are welcome to have my Pink Starbursts. Dibs on lemon flavor? By all means. It's, it's, a, it's a middling flavor. I will eat it. The thing that elevates them is the fact that they're, like, gummy and squishy. Like, the texture of a Starburst does a lot of the heavy lifting for me when I'm eating Starbursts. The flavor is secondary, except for when it comes to the cherry ones. Those are those are actual top tier. Do I like boba? I have... I don't think I've ever had boba tea or boba in any capacity. I'm getting out of here before those guys ruin my day. Ruin my two hardwood day. What are we looking for? More of this stuff down here. Hardwood. We need 10 to complete the construction bundle, which will allow us further access to the community center. We need to start making that progress eventually, so I figured, like, why not now? Yeah, I've never been in a position to actually, like, try boba, I don't think. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's boba places around where I live. I've just, you know, never interfaced with them. Pink almost tastes like strawberry to you. I don't know. There's something about pink. It's like, it's it's lacking in flavor. It's like, there's something missing as part of the pink Starburst flavor. Alright, 11 quarts, 3 frozen tears, 2 aquamarines, and a partridge in a pear tree. There's not enough pear flavored candies, to be honest with you. I feel like pe pear flavored candies are, are slept on. Pear flavor is kind of goes hard, I think. The very few times I've ever had it. I'm not sure which of these is better. I mean, much better damage, but worse speed by by a lot. We'll hold on to both of them until the fridge starts to run out of room, I suppose. It's like they forgot to add flavor to the pink ones specifically. So true, honestly. Holy! Over a thousand dollars and we didn't even geode farm today? Floor 41 meta is, is pretty great. Need a harvest update for Minecraft that adds fruit trees? I would I would love that. There's only still like apples in Minecraft, right? That's like the only fruit. No, I guess there's melons and stuff. Melons and like pumpkins. Well, pumpkins aren't a fruit. Well, are, are pumpkins a fruit? Are pumpkins berries? Anyway. <laughs> Check our luck today. I'm feeling gold pyramid. Even better. Oh man. Always always 
expect the worst because then when the best happens, you'll be happier. That's <laughs> all right. Scratch that. Forget I said that quote. It does. It's I don't I don't stand by that quote. Not approved. Don't use that out of context. We're going back to the mines, baby. It's also debris day. Spam your favorite debris based emoji. We'll come back for the debris once we actually make some some progress in the mines, though. We're going for floor 45. Holy. What quote? I didn't hear anything. Exactly. Exactly as intended. All right. Start a poll. How many resets for floor or floor 45? Set up my options nice and pretty like. All right, chat. This is going to be a litmus test as well. This is like our this is the best luck that we could possibly try this on, a star drop luck day. We're going to see how this goes because I'm a little concerned, honestly. I've never done this strategy past like like, the most I've ever done this staircase mapping strategy is up to floor 20, I think, in the previous iteration of the challenge. I've never done these, like, 40 floors where the rocks take extra hits. The monsters are better, smarter, faster, and stronger. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie, but I have faith. I have faith in the luck. I think, honestly, given how many freebies we were getting just when hardwood farming on floor 41, I think we just reset for a freebie on that floor. Of course, watch now be the day where we'd actually, when we actually need it, we won't get one, but I'm willing to give it, give it a try here. Well, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Great start. You'll love to see it. All right. Floor 42 is where the real fun starts here. Have a look. Going zero this time. I got you blasted. I'll do my best. I promise. No freebies, unfortunately. There are some dust sprites, which is a scary proposition. But we just have to live with them in this case. Fingers crossed for no infested floors. I hadn't even thought of that, dude. Infested floors? We haven't run into any of those yet. Yo, that's good. Okay. Didn't take too long on that one. We'll take that. We take those easy dubs. 42-1. Okay, check for freebies real quick, like. No freebies, but a significant amount of, uh, of crates and barrels. I'll tell you that right now. Can we get our lucky hardwood? Ooh, we did get our first jade. Maybe the jade is lucky as well. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for the best here, cause this is, this is, oh, this is, this is a spooky floor. Okay, start mining. Maybe the dust sprites can be actually a little bit helpful here. I don't know. I've got the salmon berries. I can't be afraid to use them. Don't get too, too good to use syndrome. This is not the time to be, to be cute about it. Find me a staircase, please. There, there. Uh, get that off my screen. That's vulgar. Okay, eat up. Four forty-five. I know how far we've come since since the <laughs> since the floor twenty saga. Welcome back, Jay Nuggets. You're here just in time for salmonberry eating ASMR. Except not really, because we got the, the Misophonia mod on. Please. That's five experience! How dare you? At least I got it by my own hand instead of, like, a dust sprite. That would have been very demoralizing. I'm sorry to Blasted. Blasted specifically called out as a, as a zero voter. Sorry to have disappointed you. I'll try to do better in the future. Or 44, though. 
no freebies to be contended with, which is ideal in this circumstance specifically. All right. It was a valiant effort. It's clear, honestly, the monsters are going to be some of the, the harder parts of these later floors based solely on the amount of damage that they're dealing to me right now. I'm very glad that I went out of my way to get all these salmon berries, is, is all I can tell you. You were sure I'd get it in zero this time? We still got many floors. We still have over half of the mines to go. There's still plenty of opportunities for the legendary zero reset run. I still have faith that it's going to happen. Exclamation point optimism and all that. Exclamation point optimism. You gotta call it out. I need to talk... Uh, that reminds me, I need to talk about gizzards more. Brings me good luck. Alright. We got the maps. We're out of here. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a temporal cartographer. That's the cool name I've come up with for myself. I'm a temporal subterranean cartographer. Any, any other temporal subterranean cartographers, TSCs in chat? Raise your hand if you're if you're a TSC. What did Haley say? I love watching the fireflies on a hot summer's night. It's the closest I've ever come to visiting the stars. That is strangely profound, Haley. Are you the same lady who called my shoes plastic earlier in the stream? Baby Moonlight Jelly. I can't speak anything other than English, sorry. Give you a plus two for that one. I guess, yeah, Temporal Subterranean Cartographer, all of those are like $10 words. So that's like a $30 profession title right there. I can't even pretend that it's not. All right, floor 40. We wait for, wait for the freebie. You don't even need to wait half the time, honestly. All right. Honestly, Flower Dance is a little bit of cursed music to be doing this to, but we'll take what we can get. Bring it back over. Hold on, I gotta get my, my setup going right here. Yeah, yeah, I like this, like this. Okay. Alright, I see not a lick of a freebie. that knight's move? Do, do, do. No, no knight's moves. Okay, so we're going to have to start mining on this floor. That's okay. BRB Google Translating. It's English, I swear. What the heck? Oh, no! <laughs> the dust sprites! <laughs> I told you! I told you the dust sprites were, were wicked little beasts. You sussy dust sprites, they gave me five freaking... They, they gave me that iron ore right there. Man. <laughs> I mean, I probably would have mined that stone regardless, so it's like, kind of whatever, but still. Alright, I'm getting away from these suckers. Eat my dust. It's fine, it's fine. We got another staircase out of the deal still, so I'm smiling. Smiling all the way to floor 45, as far as I'm concerned. This is floor 42-2. And onward. Onward and downward. Bats incoming? Not on my watch. I don't know why I got that. This is, this is a resettable run, so we don't need to worry about that. No freebies. Let's go have a look for... Some staircase action. Have a good one there, Zeta. Thanks for hanging out for the stream. Appreciate it. Take care. You know, the iron veins are strong and true. We don't want them right now, though.
Chat, what do you think would be the best second goal to get after Befriend the Dwarf? What do you what do you think our second goal is gonna be? If the gods are smiling on us, what would I what would I want my second goal to be? I haven't put enough thought into this. Not that I can control it anyway, but I would be if I can put a good thought, a good vibe out there in the universe. I wanna pick something that's, you know. Not so easy that it feels like, you know, I'm begging for a break from, from grinds. I don't mind the grinds. I've said it time and again, and it remains to be true. I just have to keep saying it because people don't believe me that I like these grinds. I really do. Like, the fact that our first goal constitutes these sorts of grinds is, is awesome. That said... I'm feeling for my second goal... I think my second goal is going to be... Did I break all the rocks? Except for, like, the, the ores here. I guess we got to start start going in. I think the second second goal... Okay. Is going to be... There's so many possible options. I want to say it's going to be to craft something. But I don't know what it's going to be to craft. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call my shot. I'm going to say it's to craft... You know what? Why not? It's going to be to craft a chest. Is that asking too much? Probably. But is it distinctly possible? 100%. I will laugh so hard if it's a mining level. Ship a pale ale. Killing a thousand slimes. Befriend Haley. Forging level. Thousand slimes. Ship clay. Craft a chest would be, would be, would be hype. All those ones you're talking about. Ship clay would be pretty good. Kill a thousand slimes. Honestly, kill a thousand slimes. I mean, that's that's a lot of combat experience now that I think about it. We'd be gaining some combat levels doing that. Would not be ideal. Craft a bee house. Uh, that can't be our next goal because I think the recipe for the bee house is locked behind a farming level. I don't know which one specifically, but it is, it is locked behind a farming level. So until we reach that farming level... I mean, our next goal could be gain a farming level. I wouldn't be that mad about that either. Catch a lava eel would be pretty awful. Yeah! I mean, I'm no stranger to catching lava eels. I've done it in the past. Doing it at level 1 fishing... Well, actually, you know what? It could be a blessing in disguise, because the first fish you catch is always a guaranteed catch. So if we have to catch the lava eel as our very first fish, then we get an easy catch on it. Otherwise, if we get it as, like, our second fish, suddenly things don't look so sweet anymore. This is where I have an issue. If, if the goal is bee house crafting, then you have to get the farming levels as a sub-goal. That's why, in the original version, Lisa, in the original way I coded the, the randomizer, that would be the case, yes. Now, since I've revamped the randomizer, you physically can't get the craft a bee house goal unless you have that farming level. Unless you've already got, like, I don't remember what the recipe, I think, is it called, say it's level 3 farming. You will not be able to roll the bee house goal until you've rolled 3 gain of farming level goals and completed them. That's the way the randomizer works now. Because I didn't, I, I was I was in the same boat as you. I didn't like how it, it required like some goals required sub goals like that. Now it should be much more robust. Like there should be very few situations where you have to meet sub goals, at least as a direct requirement. Sometimes you might do it incidentally. Like if you get like a bunch of fish goals in a row, then that's just unfortunate. But it's uh it's designed to avoid that. Yo, thank you, Miles. Just got two hardwood from. From a mind scrape manifesting that for me, I appreciate it. Having sneaky ways to level up was a way you might do the challenge. I mean, there's still you definitely still can do it that way. You just have to you'd have to reconfigure the randomizer a little bit, just by like removing the prerequisites from from all the goals so you could roll any goal. But that's still highly doable. Alright. Lore 40. What are we on? Are we on? Is this two resets, or is that was that only our first reset? No, that's that was two. This is that was two resets. 
We are currently on that two reset lifestyle. Oh, that's all. I almost went back up. I didn't see this sneaky little freebie down here. Reconfigure the randomizer. You just gotta go into go into the list and delete all the prerequisites. It's 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 just a spreadsheet. But if you have an interface with spreadsheets, it can be a little daunting. I suppose that's true. <laughs> I could probably release a version of the spreadsheet that doesn't have a that doesn't have the prerequisites. That's just like you can roll any any gold anytime, like the original version was. Hold on a second. My headphone cord is getting all tangled. I gotta mute for a second here. All right, I'm back. No energy go run is going surprisingly well. Happy to hear it. All right. Take me to floor 43. What do we got here? Mm, just just shy. If this if these rocks could have been like one row down, that would have been perfect. That's okay. We have also this one here. Rip me. All right. That's just that's just an unfortunate series of staircases right there then. That's all good. Take a crack at it here. I'm going to avoid those ones up there because they're too close to the other staircase. I feel like they would... They're, they're most likely not staircases. Plus, there's a scary slime up there that I want to avoid for as long as I can. I don't want to be... I'm stuck mining each rock for so long that if there's a monster nearby, I just like take an absolute butt-ton of damage. No traveling card is part of the challenge, yeah. So that's, that's oh yeah, that's why, I, oh, I, <laughs> I looked away at chat and I come back and we got five mining experience, great. Um, yeah, no, we can't get a coffee bean from any other source other than the traveling cart or the dust sprite, so that's why the dust sprite goal is a prerequisite for the coffee bean. What's a no energy run? I would assume it is making as much progress as possible without using any energy. Which I'm pretty sure perfection is off the table. But you can get perfection with very little energy usage, but I don't think... I remember I watched a video about it from someone uh, a while back. And you can definitely, you can complete the community center without, without any energy use. You cannot get perfection because of the, the volcano, I'm pretty sure. Open to only use energy once. It's to, to enter the volcano, to cross the, the lava that leads into the volcano for the first time, right, Miles? Is that, is that, that should be the only required energy use. Because once you do that, then you can like scale the volcano, access the forge, you can start getting the efficient enchantment, and then you can if you get the efficient enchantment on all your tools, then you just never use energy when you use those tools. That's the way I puzzled that one out in my brain. Once you get to the forge, I'm not saying it's free because you still have to get the required resources to enchant your tools, but it's a lot easier when you can start getting those enchantments going. All right, 42-3. Meet EA, beautiful. How do you fish then? I imagine you wouldn't fish until you get that enchantment on your fishing rod. You just gotta get your fish a different by a different means. Yeah, crab pots could let you level up fishing, but actually catching fish directly that require the fishing rod would not be would not be possible until later in the challenge. Alright, 43-3. We're cruising, dude. All right, that's that's a freebie. We don't want to see that because we don't get any information. That's all good. We still we still got a decent amount of information out of that one. Almost five hours played. We've, we're kind of skyrocketing in the actual playtime of the challenge. The real lifetime spent is a little higher than five hours, but uh, <laughs> all right, let's water pie for good luck. No worries. Have a good one there, Melly. Th Melanie, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, fish for the community center come from the Krobus or the traveling cart. Makes sense. Last thing you need for the center are the eel and a carp. Everything else is done. Spring year three. That's pretty early, honestly, for a no energy run. Best of luck to you, my friend. My fellow challenge runner. Another five hour stream is possible. It is possible. Which reminds me, quick hydration break. It would be fun at the end to compare save time to actual play time. I, I don't even know if I want to know at the end how much, like, like the play time is already going to be pretty ridiculous, I imagine, then adding on the actual, you know, physical real time would be uh, a bit of a sobering thought. Although the fact that I get to spend most of it with uh, with you lot makes it a whole lot more palatable, I'll tell you that. It makes it, makes it a lot more fun. I would do it again in a heartbeat. All right. Freebie me. Let's check here. I'm feeling good. What are we on? Are we on three resets? Is anyone counting? I'm trying to keep a mental tally in my head, but I also got a lot of a lot of mental workload just looking for these dang staircases. Speaking of, let me let me bring you into the lab. My laboratory. All right. Unfortunate. Okay. We got two more to check, though, I'm pretty sure. Also unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 You son of a gun. They're really, they're really... Zero for three? All right. These, these floor 40 floors are, are putting up no joke. They're, they're putting up a challenge. I, I mixed my metaphors a little bit there, but you get the drift. We are on three resets. How do you get the fish caught part of perfection without using energy? You'd have to get the uh, you would have to get the efficient enchantment on your fishing rod so that it doesn't use any energy every time you cast. Pretty sure that's the only way. Are you? <laughs> Come on, man! The first rock. I'm I'm rage resetting. I don't often do that. When it's the very first rock of a new run, I get a little. I'll get a little ornery, especially when we're four hours into a stream. Real quick, my ear is is very itchy all of a sudden. Let me just mute so I can fix that problem. All right. We're four resets deep. That was that was an unfortunate reset. I, I apologize to the one to five believers. I shouldn't I shouldn't rage reset when when polling status is on the line. I wish that YouTube polls like in the chat and stuff had more you know weight behind them. I wish like there was not maybe not like on Twitch where there's like some kind of you know currency associated with it because there's like twitch like channel points that you can have that you can like bet on certain options that would be kind of fun but i could also see like a system where you know at the end like the streamer picks the right option and then like people get like a little badge next to their name based on like how many predictions they've gotten right or something i don't know maybe that's a little bit more work than maybe that's more work than i think it would be but it would be it would be fun just something to make polls a little bit more tangible I think would be pretty cool. Because right now it's just for like community engagement or whatever. Ugh. I kid. But also. All right. Let's check. What do we got here? No staircases. I hate this. Do you see this? This iron barricade? Oh no. All right. Well, in that case. We might just reset this floor, honestly. Uh, not like reset the the run, but we could like leave the mines and try and come back. But let's check first, because like this staircase is still on this side. It's not happening. The other ones I'm pretty sure are both on the other side. That is absolutely just appalling right there. 
I'm not taking my chances on these other rocks. I'm just going to go ahead and like leave and try and get another freebie on floor 41, I think. I think that's honestly the, the best case scenario for this one. Ooh, speak up. The one time I didn't vote for the most pessimistic option. <laughs> You'll not get my optimism again? Don't worry. Intensive porpoise, don't, don't be like that. No, exclamation point optimism all the way. We're getting it on this run. I reset I reset that last run so this run could live. You'll see. You'll all see. Alright. Bring me into the lab here. This is let me see. So that's our stair this is our current floor. No chest moves there, no knights move strats. No knights move strats there. Also, no knights moves there. You know what? I think we're doing it again. I think I think we're going back to floor. We're resetting floor forty-one again. I think honestly, it's so quick and easy to get a freebie on floor forty-one that this is probably like the meta for this one is to like try and get a freebie on floor forty-one and then try and get a match on floor forty-two if we don't get a freebie as well. Yeah, we reset the floor, not the run. So we're still on, what, four resets? Four resets, I think? Where we're currently at. And give me that lucky hardwood. We've never lost a run where we got hardwood. So if we can get hardwood this one, then it stands to reason. By, by the laws of probability, we're guaranteed to get to floor 45 if we get some hardwood. Okay, I was I was gonna try and go for those crates and barrels, but uh, wasn't worth the the risk of the dust sprites. Dust sprites, man, they're the ultimate nemesis. All right, please just 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 bless me with a little bit of staircase luck here. No luck there. No shot, dude. No shot. They're they're really gonna do me dirty like this. Again, three times in a row. Three times in a row? Wait, what? One, two, 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 two. No, that's just a little short. It's not happening, man. What the heck? All right, well, I'm, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm sticking to my guns. We're, we're resetting floor 41 again. Probability definitely works that way. I know, right? Floor 41 seems to love freebies just from watching so many people farm there. It's true. Like, I don't know if it's just based on, like, because of the size of the floor. Something about the, the math makes it more likely for freebies to appear, but, uh... Probably just confirmation bias. It could be as well, yeah. That's highly possible, because floor, floor 41 does just get reset a lot. Not just by me, but by other people, like, farming jades and stuff, and farming iron and whatever else might be possible on Floor 41. So it could just be we see so much of this floor that the the freebie percentage is heightened as a result. All right. A part of me also believes in the floor 41 superstition. Let's have a look here. That that top one is this is man. <laughs> I'm starting to think Floor 42 is a little bit cursed, or we just need more data. We need more than, like, three maps to compare against. Wait! That's a chess... That's a knight's move. There's actually two knight's move rocks there, but that's the closest one. Let's go have a look at that. It's the first opportunity we've had in a long time. I'm taking it. I have faith. Trust in the knight's move. Can we get... Can we get a knight emoji? Is there, like, a knight chess piece emoji? If there's not... Whatever's closest. Because it... <laughs> it works. It works every time. It works every time, dude. It works every time. Great. <laughs> so, I finally get a staircase. You're really gonna do that to me. You're really gonna hype up my... Make me hype up my knight's move strategy like that. 
and then give me slap me with a five mining experience at the exact same time? I can't. I can't. Why are you? <laughs> That's just rude. And then they give me a freebie on this floor so that I don't even learn any new information about floor 43. Dude, I thought it was a good luck day. I thought it's a star drop luck day. I'm going I'm going crazy here. The horse emoji? That's that's uh, I think that'll do. That'll do for future. Start spamming the horses for good luck. Although the horses could also they they're kind of like a double entendre of an emoji. Cause it could be like, you know, night smooth. But it could also be like quit horsing around, you fool. The Beatrix fan art has been completed. Yo, spooky. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Please share in the Discord. I can't wait. Gave her a little glow bracelet. She needs that. She needs that in those dark portions of the mines, that's for sure. Thankfully, we're past that wickedness. Those dark floors went off, honestly, a lot faster than I thought they would. These bat bats are going out of their way to make my life look just a little bit more miserable here too. And well, I'll need to I'll need to remember that one as well. That 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 the a single knight's move away from that one staircase. There is a freebie down here. What the heck? How didn't I see? Wait, no, that's not a freebie. There's no way it's a freebie because I wouldn't have missed that. That's the that's the the dust sprites open this one. I think I'm taking my chance on that. I don't think that was a freebie. I think that I I I would have seen that for sure. Clear as day. Clear as crystal. You do not own a horse. It's true, we don't own a horse. Owning a horse isn't even a goal. I should add that to the... We got horse flute as a goal, but actually getting a horse is itself is not a goal in the randomizer, which is definitely an oversight, probably. <laughs> not that you require one for perfection, obviously, but... Still need to make some fan art? No worries. If, if you feel inspired to make some fan art, then by all means, but... But definitely don't force it if you don't want to. If you don't want to, just like any creative endeavor, it's always going to be at its best when you really want to. When you have the passion behind it and you really want to do it, don't try to. Don't try to force it if it's not there. Unless it's like your job, in which case sometimes you got to bite the bullet. But. <laughs> I love making fan art. I'd love to make fan art, but I suck at drawing. We take all levels of quality for fan art. As long as you're doing a little bit more than like drawing like a stick figure in MS Paint, and even then, you know, if you put a little panache on it, it, it could be passable. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Like Spooky says, make art even if you feel like you're bad. If you really want to make art, the the only way to get better is to is to keep trying and to keep making more stuff. That holds true for, like, you know, visual art, like drawings and paintings and all that stuff. For music, for videos, for, for any artistic endeavor, really. Practice makes perfect. It's a, it's a saying that has been driven into the earth, ground to dust, reduced to atoms, as Thanos might say. But it's for a reason. Because it's, it's, because it's dang true. A round pie fan art? I'd, I'd love to see it. I mean the name the name is 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 meant to be. We need that round little kitty. Making art above your spot above your skill level is how you improve exactly. Can't improve if you just keep, you know, going for the lowest common denominator. You got to push your push your skills. You also don't have Discord. I mean fair enough then. <laughs> You can send it to me through like Twitter DM if you have Twitter. Although I know Twitter is is not looking like the the best place to be lately. <laughs> it's still useful in a lot of capacities, but I think it's not uh not what it used to be for sure. Yo, we got a freebie. Let's go. First freebie on floor 42, I think. Very very nice. Hit me with a freebie on floor 43. I don't I don't often ask for three freebies in a row, but I'm feeling the energy right now. Maybe just because of the song. 
they didn't give it to me. That's okay. I, I, I was asking for a little too much. I should have been a little more, a little more judicious, probably. This is five resets, right? By the way, this is like this is the last, the last call for one to five believers. We're going all out on this one. All right, what do we got here? I see right, right there. Can we get there without breaking a rock? I don't think we can. So we're just gonna have to bite the bullet, break a rock, and try to get to that little, that little nod, nodule there, that little node. Yeah, we gotta break at least one rock here, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're fine. Give me, the, give me the node, give me the staircase. You'll love to see it. Alright, perfect. No lucky hardwood. I'm getting out of here before those dust sprites mess me up. Floor 44. Yo, we're one floor away. Wait a minute. <laughs> How did that happen? I always forget these, like, uh, like the first half of a new decade of floors is uh, always a little bit shorter. Alright, we've got three maps to compare against. There's no way that we don't have a match in three maps. It's just not probable. Come on. Can we get some horses in chat? Horses and four-leaf clovers for good luck. All right, what do we got? I see no freebies. We got, we got a horse. We got, we got a knight's move right there. Okay. I want to see if we can get an exact match because I don't trust that. Because we could have a situation like before with our knight's move where we accidentally get an ore, so let's check for other matches first. All right, no match there. No, nope, I don't think we even have any knight's moves. Okay. Last one to check. We do have a knight's move there as well, but we don't have an exact match. So it's that very bottom middle one and this one next to the crystals here, I think. All right, so let's go. Let's go check the crystal, Marty, and then we'll go to the to the straight bottom middle, if that doesn't work. Fingers crossed. I got my horses, and my clovers all crossed up and mixed together. Horses are gallivanting, galloping about in the in a field of clovers right now. Thanks to all of you. Will it be enough? Not with that one. But we got we, we have we have us we have a backup plan. We have a backup plan. It's okay. Is bottom middle. This one right here. We got oh my gosh. <laughs> Get out of here before before dust sprites ruin our party. Oh my gosh. Floor 45 acquired. Holy. Floor 45, let's double check. Zero combat, zero mining experience. Presumably zero combat experience, but I don't have a sword to check with. Five resets. Five resets. The 39 percentile that believed. Oh, it was 39% for both 1 to 5 and 6 to 10. That's kind of wild. Let's go. Get some get some Argon hype in there. We nailed it. Ar hunt, exclamation point optimism. You'll love to see it. Floor 45. That just pumped me full of adrenaline, dude. That was That was good. That was a good set of floors right there. I will take it. Wasn't a total gimme, but also... Ooh, pardon me. But we also didn't have to work like crazy hard for it, so... I will take that. We're not going to risk any hardwood farming today, where we're just going to go do our trash run. And it's Debris Day! Yo, Debris Day! Let's go. We can do a little Debris celebration as well. Five resets was all it took. I seem to have prevented you from changing your name to Pessimistic Porpoise. I'm glad. I think we dodged the bullet there. This goes to show optimism always always wins out in the end. Stay optimistic, fam. I hate that I just said that. I don't like using the word fam, <laughs> but for some reason that's the that's what came to mind. Stay optimistic, friends. Stay optimistic, pals. Stay optimistic, folks. I say folks all the time at work. Like, I'll be, like, uh, I'll be running someone through my till. And, like, when they're ready to leave, if, if it's, like, multiple people, I'll usually say, like, you folks have a great day. And I get made of made fun of by my coworkers so much for that. They're like, what are you, 80 years old? Why are you using the word folks? Folks is a great word. I will stand by folks. It has a great meaning. It is like a it's a great use case. 
Like most people would just like, like you guys have a great day, but guys is like gendered. And like in this day and age, it's you, you shouldn't be doing that realistically. I think folks is, is a great middle ground or, or even y'all, like y'all have a great day. It's a little southerny, which I guess folks is also is also a little a little southerny. And I think guys is like more seen as like gender gender neutral this these days, so it's like not that big of a deal. But I mean, you never know like who it's going to be a big deal to. I think folks is just uh, is just better all around. Imagine being eighty year old eighty years old at twenty eight. Omg me. All right, I'm selling this field snack. I'm selling the quartz and the frozen crystals, frozen tears. We'll deposit the rest, and then we'll do some some debris shellacking. Folks feels pretty YouTube-y. Is it just because I say it all the time? <laughs> Wait, I gotta get my, uh, my axe. I thought you don't pronounce the L in folks. I do. To I, it's like a it's a soft L. It's like you, you shouldn't notice it that much, but it is there. I guess you could say, like, folks. Maybe maybe I should start saying it like that, folks. I, it, just, it doesn't feel right. It feels unnatural. Is a Texan you always say y'all, but you like folks too? I think they're, they're both very valuable language tools, honestly. They both serve a, a wonderful purpose. And until we find, you know, a, a, a different word for, for that, like, we don't need to find a diff different words for, for those things because those words exist. And just because people, like, think they sound old or, or like, little countryisms or whatever, that's on them as far as I'm concerned. Y'all keep using y'all. And I'll keep using folks. All right, folks. How much the L is pronounced is regional. That might be true. I'm trying to think. I feel like I am one of the only people I know in my personal life that says the word folks on a regular basis. So I can't even, like, confirm how many people that I know pronounce the L. Because most people just don't use the word. The other option that I sometimes go to is just, like, not using a word at all and just rephrasing the sentence to be, uh, to not need one. Like, instead of saying, like, you folks have a great day, I'll just be like, have a great day. But it can be, it can be weird sometimes, because when you're at the till when you work in retail, you, like, say, have a great day. But if there's, like, two people or more there, then, like, you can only really make eye contact or, like, wave or whatever, however you're, you're gesticulating to, like, say goodbye to them. You can only do that to, like, one person at a time. So I always worry, like, if I just say, like, have a great day, and I gesticulate to one of them, the other person will be like, what am I, chopped liver? And they'll be, like, upset. They'll be like, why didn't you say goodbye to me? I feel offended and hurt by my by my experience here today. I'm going to leave you a negative Yelp review. And that reflects negatively on me as a human being, is how it feels at the time, even though it obviously doesn't. So I just try to cover all my bases and say, like, y'all have a great day, or you folks, and just hope that they don't judge me too harshly on that. Like for all I know, the people, like, the customers that I'm serving are also judging me, and it's not just my coworkers. Like, what if they, like, leave the store, and they just start laughing? They're like, can you believe that guy? He said he called us folks, like we're in the 1930s, and I'll be like, man, <laughs> I'm just trying to do my best out here. I'm trying to be, <laughs> I don't know, there's no winning, man. There's no winning. It's all in my brain as well, so it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Y'all is definitely Kentucky approved gender neutral pronoun too. Heck yeah. Is y'all a pronoun? I guess like like definitionally it, it is. I just never like classify that classify it as that in my brain, I guess. But I, I suppose that it does serve the use purpose of a pronoun, so yeah. You're so brave making eye contact. I worked for 11 years in customer service and made no eye contact with anyone the whole time. I can understand that. I think I have a higher tolerance for, like, customer service and all the things that it entails than a lot of people do. Like, don't get me wrong, there's still bad customer experiences from time to time. That'll stick with you, but... 
for my for my money, I think like I have a lot of patience. That's one of the one of the things that I'm relatively proud of about myself is that I have a considerable amount of patience, which is it can be good and can be bad and depending on the context, but I think in customer service it is more of a blessing than it is a curse. Because some things that'll get to some people just like won't bother me that much at all and I can I can deal with a whole lot more. Which is not an excuse to, you know, treat retail workers like garbage. Because <laughs> that's, uh, for some reason, that's the default that a lot of people have. That's the default setting. Is like, I'm interacting with this person in a retail setting. They are subhuman, is how it, is how it feels when you hear about, like, all those, like, horror retail store stories. All those, like, customer service interactions where the people just, like, like make a huge fit over like not being able to return their thing that they don't have their receipt for or whatever. It's like, yeah, that's just like how the world works. <laughs> you should know this by now. You're 35 years old. You you're, you need a receipt to return a thing. <laughs> Seeing all the forgeables around the map kills you. It's, I mean, these beach forgeables, this, this west coast in particular is is pretty awful like just oh my gosh <laughs> there's so many different varieties the nautilus shell is so like someone said earlier it's so grabbable little oyster hiding down there as well that's rough man all right i don't think we have any further debris that i can realistically clear we'll do one last little lap of the of the farm here but i think we are Oh wait, we got we got some little seeds here it looks like. Couple little seedlings. Take care of those, nice and pretty like. Good stuff. Alright, I think we are good. I think we are good to call it a day there. When I'm at the store, I always feel scared to ask for anything because I don't want to disturb the people working there. I feel that too, but sometimes, like, like speaking as a as a retail worker, usually they don't mind. I mean, they might be having a bad day and they mind. I can't speak for everybody in every circumstance, but most of the time, if you're polite about it, it's like totally fine. <laughs> it it like, just barely registers as an inter as an interaction in my brain if someone asks polite me like, "Excuse me, can can you point me in the direction of such and such?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, it's right over here." And then I'll like go back to my work and never think about it again. <laughs> as long as you're not being rude about it, I think is it's totally fine. All right. Well, with that, I think I am gonna call it a stream here. Actually, we've made some pretty good progress today. We made it all the way to floor 45. It's not quite the floor 80 that I promised at the start of the stream. I'm sorry for that. But uh, it's it's good progress, nevertheless. But my throat is starting to kill me, and the water is not doing doing its job. I need to ease my way back into these long form streams. I don't mind doing like four or five hours, even like five to six hours sometimes. But it's I gotta I gotta work my way back up to it. Because <laughs> after yesterday's five hour stream, I was like zonked, and today I'm starting to feel it already too. Anyway, like I said, I might do some, uh, I might do some geode farming. Actually, tomorrow's the flower dance. Maybe I might geode farm, like, today. I might do that off stream, just, like, eat away this day for geode farming so that I have a little bit more disposable income to work with. But then, uh, with the flower dance coming up, we'll, we'll take care of that. I mean, it's not that big of a festival, but it is, it is important for certain reasons. So we'll do that on stream together on, uh, on Friday, I think. Which, yeah, Friday. Friday will be our next stream. We got one one day off, and then back at it on Friday. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you all for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you had a fun time. No worries, Koji. I was ha I'm happy to see you here at all. I greatly appreciate it. All right. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I hope you all had a fun time. I know I certainly did. I will leave you with the fan art compilation as per usual. Be good to one another, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.
My voice is hoarse. I'm going to go get another glass of water. <laughs> but until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a great night. Bye-bye.